maro ninu ore tolorun se me lo ni kinro ninu ore ti baba se ore re ma po oju yanrin okun lo me lo ni kinro afikin shamadupe ore re ma po oju yanrin okun lo me lo ni kinro afikin shamadupe opeye o baba mi loke ese mo dupe da mi si iru otapa o da san won ma yin o to biju olubori ajabori ese iyin ogo loye fun o o ogbe ni nija keru obo nija olorun loke ese o i just want to say baba o ese I just want to say baba o e se I just want to say I just want to say baba o e se yi bi teti bere I just want to say baba o e se eyin la na o Eni lo ni o Eni lo la o Eni lo jo gogbo Eni la na o Eni ma lo ni o Eni lo la o Eni lo jo gogbo Olorun apostle ya dele baba lola Olorun apostle ya dele baba lola e didi pe tin be lori pe mi agbara to gbe mi ro ma je amun ti mo gbe nu re ase ti mi o fi nkan ye po mo ase ti mi o mu ogun po mo ase ti mo duo ninu otito re a ma dupe o fun ojo ni we bless you we thank you for what you have been doing in our life thank you for everything you have been doing thank you for fighting for us thank you for keeping us safe O se toripo je baba wa you are our father you are our father you are everything to us you are everything to us father lord we want to appreciate you be exalted in jesus name o lord yen korin o ni be thou exalted 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 emmanuel be thou exalted 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 emmanuel lord we thank you lord we appreciate you god of samuel your authority we appreciate you god of our fathers the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob we want to appreciate you right now for what you are set to do again today be exalted in jesus name lord we commit every activities unto your hand We want you to take perfect control in the mighty name of Jesus. You the atmosphere, I want you to re- re- receive the power of God right now. Every flying witches in the mighty name of Jesus. Bo bo eyin a je were te mo nfo okiri internet eyin a je te ti advance. Loru ko Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Bo bo eyin a je te kin je ki network o gbadun kan we eyin o le gbadun oro Ologun. E gbo nti Oluwa so lone ina ko jo yin ro. Gbogbo eyin agbara ti ipile yin je ti Jezebeli loruko Jesus ina ko ma jo yin run gbogbo eyin a mi okunkun te wa ma nsa mi e ti mo pe sakirant n be nbi e ti mo pe ori toke n be nbi e ti mo pe to bi loba wa nbi e ti mo pe bliss wa nbi e ti wa be si ni so won ka kiri e gba loni loruko Jesus e o tu foju yin rin na ma gbogbo eyin pa ti agbara eleye gbogbo eyin pa ti agbara okuku loruko Jesus e o tu foju yin rin na ma ase olorun o ya ko bere ise Ase Olorun ko bere ise ninu aye mi ninu aye ase Olorun bere ise agbara Olorun bere ise iya nu Olorun bere ise gbo gbo eni to gbo mi lowo lowo gbo en to ni gbagbo gbo en to like video gbo en to share video lowo lowo loruko Jesus oya ase Olorun ko wonu aye lo gbo gbo eni share da te ri video e share lowo lowo gbo gbo eni share da te like video lowo lowo loruko Jesus agbara Olorun ko sijibo yin 
Loru Kodjes Agba Lala Nuko Shijibo Yen. Loru Kodjes Agba Lala Nuko Shijibo Yen. Ba Bogbu Enyi Ti Eri Ame Tembe Yen. Mogba Dua. Oya Ama Shiwe Na Ti Kwen. Loru Kodjes Ama Shiwe Na Ti Kwen. Eh, Jedja Ni Made Kai Wa. Onka Shore Fa Ba. Kukukuma Boya On Le Ti Pa Se Di Eni Ti Oma Do Kukwe Loba. Ko Shon To Da Na Kori Pa Wakan Fe Pa Oba Kode Da Ke. Oka Se Ti E. Shukma o de shiwe na ti ore na kan mo ma gbo gbo eyan to ngba mi ko si mu won ti le buru buru to kan ma ti ni ore kan ta ti se fun e da kan laye mo fe ko wa shiwe na ti ore yen kan won loni ko fi mu won wa joko soda won ba ko fi won wa joko shibinla loruko jesus oya ma shiwe na ti kan the book of remembrance that we make you that we connect you with that king that we connect you with your helper i pray that the lord should open it right now in the mighty name of jesus Iwe na ti to ma mu e joko pelu awon ba gbogbo eyin ma mi te gbagbo eyin daddy te gbagbo loruko jesu a ma siwe na ti ye kan yi loni e gbo oro e da yo loni oro e da yo loni oro e da yo bi alafi kara ka batuli nan ka ba oro e da yo loruko jesu iya no bere ninu aye wo oba to mu ki ya no bere ninu aye joseph ni kete to mu jade lo gba ewon loruko jesu iya no ma bere ninu aye Allahu told me the God that make wonders to begin to happen in the life of Daniel. Immediately he left the den of lion. I pray that the Lord will bring out miracle for you in the name of Jesus. Wonders will begin to happen in your life, and people that see will begin to wonder. And when Yanu tomorrow tomorrow fight Yanu, when some things started happening in your life, and when you started experiencing some signs and wonders in your life, and some people that are that are very close to you, they begin to wonder too. <laughs> Hey, you know, it, it, you know, connecting it, it begin to, you know, wonder will make people to wonder. That's some wonder. It will make other people, your friends, your family, to wonder. Say, hello, me, I will teach you. I need to show you how How do you do it? I'm a wonder. To look back in you, wonder to be there. No idea. Lord, who can just, you know, one way here, Lord. Oh, show me, lele. Eh, mo, eh, me, mo, take your authority or God's time. It is my month. But when you move back, Shani, no, show me. I want to go to you to be that demon. Then to look for new shoes to move be me. But me, I'm a son of God. I will not allow you. I declare as a prophet of the living God. Every, everything, everything, everything that pertains, but but that pertains to your sources. See your cocoa tea bestly. They will begin to release it right now in the name of Jesus. The governor, but do you hear? The president, but do you hear? Tomorrow, very free. I will not walk across the line. Do you know what? Walk across the flag bearer. See, I shall go here. See, free. I will tomorrow rule. Egba sa rabi atu fi rikab ha emi dori o ya ye lori bogbo nu agba wa ye to wa lori ko jesu atu osile be bogbo nu agba wa ye to wa atu osile be lori o wa do wa re to ba le shame o wa do wa re to ba le type we me yen o wa do wa to ba ti le so pe ami o o wa do wa to ba le share tabi like video sugbon me soro jade gege bi eni ti a bi ninu osu yi Eme tu asila kuro ni nwa e wwa ye towa. Mo tu asila kuro ni nwa tu bwa ye towa. Loru kwa jes o yagbe tu sile. Loru kwa jes o yagbe tu sile. Come out of that bondage. In the name of Jesus. Come out of that bondage. In the name of Jesus. Come out of the bondage. In the name of Jesus. Come out of that prison. In the name of Jesus. Come out of the prison. In the name of Jesus. Come out of the prison. In the name of Jesus. Come out of the prison. In the name of Jesus. Come out of the prison. In the name of Jesus. Come out of the prison. In the name of Jesus. Come out of that prison. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. More far away is Seruya. Every spirit of slavery. See, let me tell you, I used to tell you, and I will continue, I will continue to remind you in case you forget. You are not entitled to be a slave. It is never your portion. How can you be a slave? The sons of the most high God. An ambassador. Have you ever heard that an ambassador? Come an ambassador to, to the state or ambassador to the, to, the, to the country or something. Have you ever heard that an ambassador is a slave? Eh? How can you be a slave? Go lo ma tu pa pa si. O ma gbe gbe eyan. Iyen wa fa won oto si elese. Awon ti o mo lohun. Awon lo ye ko mo si se eru. Hallelujah sir. Ati bi oni bi oba. You are entitled to what? To you are entitled to that true. You are no longer a slave. In the name of Jesus Christ. Gbogbo e won isiru lorun e mo da kuro lo ni. Aso eru ni aye ati josa. 
a ye lo da ye kini ta mo aso eru ya ta sa so mo ba mo mo mi salaye ati ju aso eru wa the moment you see them you recognize them awon agbara to dem ba fa awon agbara ye ati jo ni so they still put on that garment on you aye ti le da ye gusi aye ti le da ye fasasi aye le ti da ye wo wo ta won ko kiri ta won kaka ni agba ni dare go mi o te muruko gbo awon product aso te mo nwo so gbo mo mi sa awon ogun to ba fa ogun ipinle ni ogun ati 1930 ogun 1970 ogun 98 ogun 1930 awon ogun buruko gbo abalaye yen o si wa lori iri ajo aye so they are still operating in the system of the olden days so that's why they are they are they, they know what it costs to put on the garment of of slavery they put it on you won gbo fun e hallelujah sugba mo pani ase gaga bi woli o ja de te mura dada emi o ma ni time to po lati be lo sin emi ma kuro ndi mi ni se mi la le jo pataki fun o alejo ta fe so adua wa po ma won kan kan mo pa won kan kan wa gbodo so adua you must connect your prayer with something so that it can work like for example, you write uh, uh what do you call it? You write a uh, invitation, uh, you know, invitation. Okay, when your bank washer kill a monk, we uh huh, you know, collect a lot of shares. If you have been gaga, oh, but it belong complete over it belong. Oh, no, that it belong. Do you want to move me a bit? In Catalan, we connect money. I want to talk about connect money. We are here. We are here. We need to move. We are the Jukanwa. I want to borrow sorrow. Spiritual now, you should move. You to move physical or what? Along will connect things that God will connect, things that God will use to what to uh, hey, thank you application, things that God will use to elevate you. You understand? So, because I because I do when they you take one prayer point, then I will, I will invite the man of God. This is a pastor from Winners Chapel. Uh, somebody called me yesterday. I was just sort of more full of when I come on Kadulu as of me, and uh, we started talking. More the people here, you can't hear about it. Here, you talk about your legal. But your human nature, my children, when you really can't to buy me, they're rumored to be people here. Oh, tell us what you tell us what. From what boy, you tell me, Monsieur. From what boy, you tell me, Monsieur. It basically a year, a rule, a lot of colleges or drop in London. Igbesi aye eru e dopin lene irin ajo eru to rin yen o dopin lene gbogbo gun amuni sin ninu aye e ko wole lo gbogbo gun amuni sin ninu aye e loruko Jesu ko wole lo ra libi atafakabu tilinasaha gbogbo gun amuni sin gbogbo gun to mu osin tin fi o seru ogun to mu osin to fi o seru loruko Jesu ogun yen wole lo lo ni o tu jagun ma wo ipo ba lo ma joko si aye nla ni aye o ni lo lati seru mo loruko jesus mo mi o tu seru mo wo agbara to by force here there some you know, if they ask you i know you won't say you want to be doing you want to do, you, you you want to be a slave nobody will ever wake up and say i want to be a slave so it means that the situation you find yourself is as a result of a particular influence one force yes in we rush you are being forced and kini won pe ni forced e won na ni ise ti awon force kan ma nse awon force ni mo force yeyan so bo e naturally no man pe awon ise won pe force mo ba won lo pa force ni won awon soldier force ni and when it comes to you are under arrest either you like it or not they will force you and that's why they are forced either you like it or won force yet be soldier ba ne move you don't want to move by force you will what you will move that's why they are forced and ta ba ti la won alagbara okunkun ti won lo force na awon na ma lo force na ni won you are you see witchcraft all this and one job and job when they are forced because there are so many things you don't want you don't want in your life but they will force it there that's why they call them force i pray for you but back there at all faggy this soy deru but back there at all force here let it deru more bad do alone lord god yes can you wear it or no what you have woman can do or any can i my dear lover yeah ndo re we mo mo je nlo si di yen mo mo bo mo kan wa mo mo yen sara di wa mo mo yen o sara wa o sara ko da mo wu egbo kan lese iwo yen mo mo mi mo mi ti mo so yen la gbo le yin mama yen wa nle yin ti ba ni ko soro si o soro jadi i'm seeing that woman that woman we died or she, she will die o ma ku ki mo so ki o su to pari wo ko le egbo kan wa lese mo mi yen eh eh o ni bi yan se je la gbo le yin o mo dada ki se ni to se mama pe mo mi pe egbo se mo mo kan wa to o mo mama yen sanra bayi egbo kan wa lese o wa ndi oro yo si ni sori egbo to wa lese yen 
o a o ni kan to fa te gbo yen fi wonu ese sugbon wo olorun fe fun eni agbara segun lo ne mo gba dua fun e gege bi woli olorun alaye gbogbo party agbara to wa ni di oro e to mo ni pogun to nja loruko Jesus Christ lo su ni won ma fa ye sile fun e lo su ni won ma fa ye sile fun e lo su ni won ma fa ye sile fun e di awon se ta ti mo gba dua fun o mo so fun won be mo loluwa so mi pe la ni ojo meji awon kan fe ku awon ko ba mo de daruko mo de daruko mo de daruko yo bi meta lo pe me prophet be ni sa o ku abi be ko ori testimony ye wo ti ma so mo go bayi na lo se ma ri lo su be ni olorun temi es olorun olorun ti mo ba yan fe yin o be yan kan ba ti di asi ori aye lo yo da ni es pe boyo ro pe yo ku danu ku finally patawa ta tori pe oro aye ti di bo ba wa kan se lori oro won awon no wa kan se lori oro e to ba ti wa kan se lori oro won oro e da bi en to le wa ka mo le ni o gbe mo da ni won na si lanfani o ni bon le o si lanfani lati shoot america won pa e danu sa ni olopo tun de o credit ye ni god bless you so be na la won ogun ki wa lo da pe on the physical level you have armed robbers that are coming to rob you of your property and you have gun you have access to kill them to ya pe to ba lanfani lati mo bon you are going to shoot you got o le pa won physical so mo ba kan ro e mi o pe mo gba dua lori ota so e to vi ba le papa to ti e ni ba ko shoot you le iyan yin sota iyan mami eni to ba tu joko si di oro e loruko jesus o ma kuku ojiji won ma kede ku eni bo se ma ri niyan ko ni yi pada iya na olorun ti sele be lo se ma ri jesus christi oluwa wa mami ma yo ko ni that's what i want to mo jeri yin jare mo ti recruit yin sinu army of christ ke mo pa yan lo ni o ku kan soso adua kan mo fe ka gba bayi adura kan mo fe ke gbe yo kan soso ni o pe oluwa ta le ni ohun gan to sa ta ku ati de bi ayo me wo there are some people mommy they let me tell you baba labi am god bless you you are welcome ah uh, prophet sam ojo authority i hear you baba it is well with you sir prophet sam mo mo pe wa nbe eh baba labi am god bless you thank you for yesterday ministration that was so tough that was so powerful but we didn't break it down here oh touch me god thank you very much the lord will continue to strengthen you yes i want you to pray somebody called me yesterday and i'm about to want some whatsapp only what me only what song can come for me i think what you're going to comment in soon professor mojo ko dai dai ni o ah or go one lay sir hey oh my dude me remember my power that i'm going to hear me oh cool physical love be poison two years egg bus story here in the 21st of august oh my dude g kill and so you know poison mo gbe dagba awa ni kin daye tan ki lafa ni ati pe nti o se mi ki ma wa pa ko joko be ko wa ma le mi kiri pelo fa oluwa ma sun ko ma ko ma ro fa kiri ko si yan ma operation ko si yan ma ni sori agbo daju loku ba odun ti nlo august yan ma ti wo august bayi ati fe wonu osu da gerege ati fe wo december ni yen o fe gbadura kan yen na wa la was talking to the person yesterday and mo wa so fun mo ni oluwa so fun mi pe iya ara e lo satako aye ti o je ko ti o je ko sorire nitori pe oluwa so mi pe he said i have already created a path a way for you to be successful but your mother was the one that go against my will in your life and he said daddy o tu so daddy e pa ro sa mo ni okay salaye ki lo mo pa emi ti so yin na iwo ko salaye yoku o ni ohun kan ti pe egbon mo mi ohun kan be egbon e ba buro lo se pe egbon e o ni ko bi mo o ni ko bi mo ko ni yawo ko boro e won o mo bi won sise aye e pa si o de mi mo bi won pari esi o ni mi won pari because won ti mo po on lo logo ile yen they have known that that man is the what is the is the breadwinner of that family and that's why to move can here possible can o wa lo ba ya eni ti mo n gbadura fun pe o n fe adopt your mother ko ma mo lo si loyin bo because loyin bo ni ma yan base i think boya london abi nkan kan yi be lo base si pe o n fe mu ko n adopt eyan de so pe ah e won o ro luran lowo o ko sent o ma ran mi lowo o ah ko ma mu lo o ko ma mu lo ili aye yin lagbara o and let me tell you something and this person is a only owo e mo kan ti ma se ma ko de bi no de fomo ele ejo mo pe akoni to kan ti baba isala yi fun mi o ni ma yi wa lo adopt omo omo yen si yin si ma yen ti ku gbogbo nkan to ne pata o wi ile fomo to adopt gbogbo property e o ma na broad o lo wi ile fomo to adopt omo fe eyan fe mo mo e lo mo ye omo ba be o so pe tori pomo kan be o be fo po eyin mama kan wa nbe yen iwa ika to wa nu yin o ni agba tori omo nba yin fo bo nba yin fo so e ni jo mo rin rin ajo ti o fi sorire idi aba fi ona ni joseph iba kusi ni le israel kan ni po lohun o transfer boy yen olohun wa transfer case boy yen lo si jit 
ona ba yu ayi eni ba si wa be ma se daddy speaking mommy speaking ki jaye yo ni tu mo o ma ni sa ka ni gbe se baba ere ra so alara bara so alara bara ni o jo ni o jo rogolu aso alara bara ko in go de bi ti aso alara bara wa njo njo de ni ogo omo ye bi po ye o nba mi so la no de so e kun lori fun sugbon gba mi sa gbogbo eni na to wa ni di ati soriri e to n ta ko eni aju ayi e o ma tabi ko mo eru mo bi ya yen oluwo so mi pe ya yen laje sugbon awo bo se fi ai mo kan to de fi ta ko iri ayi omo e omo yen ba wa ninu billions in sin ti ba ma sha ti ba ma jagbadun ayi e ti o ti eni ni nkan ko ti eni stress o ni daddy sir o ni ko ma sise ko nko joko lori owo ati property ni kan ti ma yen fi sile fun adopt their child Oh no, let me money. Look at me. I'm struggling, hustling. Only go shit. Come on, say why? Rented you. See my boy, he's a So adopted. It's under. I'm attached to adopt you. My family. You maybe. You know what? Hey, hey. Ba, ba, ba. My dad do a fun bug when it's here, yeah, Monsieur. I like that. I don't talk with you. I like that. I don't talk with you. You know? Tio, Jacob, Danny, Ogo. Tio, Jacob, Danny, Asheri. Loru ko Jesu oya ko kuku ojiji that person that particular person that is anto antagonizing every omo ebo that is antagonizing your life that is going against the wish of God for your life i pray today that they will die in the name of jesus kan mama ye ku ma ye and even that woman died there it will be so easy for the man to take the child I'm telling you there are some people the Bible is the Bible said and God bless Isaac after the death of Abraham. So why is it that Isaac was not blessed when Abraham was still alive? I pray for you you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is going against the wish of God in your life they will die. Oya sare gba duwa yen aduwa yen la ma pe ti mo fi pe baba wole. E pe je so dada ta ni sata ko ire ayo me ta lo sata ko ire me eni o laje ni abi o laje enu lo fi ta ko ni abi emi who is going against the wish of god in my life is it using the spiritual wickedness is it using physical wickedness is it physical mouth what is it using i don't want to know one thing is this arise today begin to fight for me begin to fight for me e to ba ye o salada ba mi salada e to ba ye ko pa e mi ni ijoba lo sa there are some angels they have cutlass because for angels to come and be you know there are some places in the bible that i read and they say overnight god kill all the enemy of israel why how did they kill them there are some they have night pa on be ori elomi lo ni wa ko ma ri pori un yo lorun fe what is cutting that nobody knows it is angel they have cutlass they have sword i pray right now gbogbo ata to ye fun ida wa ni oya ida ko ma be lori everybody against the will of god in my life God begin to cut their head. Begin to cut their head. Ask them, Lord. I need ask. Begin to ask them. <laughs> begin to machete them. Oh yeah, begin to pray. But I said it back. Oh Lord, what pastor? Dele babalala. Oh Lord, what pastor? Dele babalala. Don't go away. You are in Takoria, you are me. Oh, that one Takoria, you are me. Oh, you are my Shamalada. Oh, you are my Shamalaga. Oh, you are my Shamapa. Oh, you are my Shamapa. Oh, you are my Shamapa. Loru ko Jesu oya ma sha won pa loru ko Jesu oya ma sha won pa be lo se ma ri Jesu oluwa wa oh let me tell you tomorrow tomorrow i will start i, will, I want to talk to us about the, uh, the going going uh, uh, i will i put it want to rest against the anointing of Ahab that's what i want to do tomorrow anointing of Ahab and the corporate anointing of Ahab and Jezebel we want to treat that topic mo fe ko mura sile lati gbadua tewe so wa je gbadua fun ke mi o mo lo mo so tele gege bi wori olorun alaye ba me sa gbugbu eni to taku e gbugbu eyan yen who is that ala taku in your life who is that person that say no don't help him don't marry her don't marry him they begin to say nonsense just a word is enough to confuse your helper o mo yan ma ran lowo don't help him he's not a good person that's all they want to hear Except to manage people who are behind girl, it's all on Tina. When they don't worry, I know how to sort it out. You know, tell your boss sorry, your phone number, man. Okay, don't worry, I know what to do. If you want to tell me first, she. Mo badua, bo bolori elone. Oh yeah, 
commerce ni wan ti ese dere gbogbo en to shata ku e every anybody i don't want to know how that person is to you even if it is your husband if it is your wife i don't care what i care about is anybody that is antagonizing your life anybody that is going against the will of god in your life i pray today they will die they will die this month god will separate you this month god will separate you who are the close who, 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 who are the people that are so close to you who are the friends who are the brothers who are the sisters who is the mommy who is the daddy that is so close to you but is standing against the will of god in your life i pray today let there be separation in this month of August, let there be separation. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. So shall it be. This month, mommy, you will ride a horse. Oh my God, she don't get <laughs> When we are talking about riding a horse, it's a place of honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, people that say, leave him. He cannot be well with him. There are some people that say, look at this. When I'm passing by, I say, I remember those days when I'm passing by, I see two, three people gathered together. I will be shaking. My leg will be shaking because I know they will say things about me. They say, leave him. What is he doing? Leave him. He's deceiving himself. Hey, everybody, anybody that has said things, negative things about you, they will not die. They are coming to celebrate you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are becoming their boss now. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. I want to share this video now 10 times because I want to invite the man of God to, to, to come and talk to us. Yes, and I want you to, whatsoever thing he tell you to do, uh, whatsoever thing he advise you or he, he tell you, please, I want you to all note it. Note it. More bad what we Some of us have met with him in Mommy uh, Sheyo uh, Puel's podium, and I was going to borrow a new one. So I just said, okay. Come, sir. Uh, everything we are not in the spiritual world. We are combining spiritual with physical. Nino ayeta wai. Onu ne kalo je pure spiritual. But here it is still physical. There are some things you still need to know that can make your life to flourish. There are some things you still need to know that can make you to uh, that can extend you know extend your life. That can extend your greatness. That can that can give you a lot of opportunity. So let me see this as an opportunity for us to learn more about how to make it in life. You know the things to do. One or two things. One or two things to do. I want can you need to move to the shit totally wrong in your life. So that is what we. That is what is all about today. So I'm gonna bring in the man of God, Pastor Stephen Akintayo is his name. So please be attentive, listen to him very very well. When I say listen to him, please listen to him. Don't joke. To be miss just a part. Yokule my year. So listen attentively, and it shall be well with you. Begin to clap your hands as I bring the man of God to the podium, Pastor. Stephen Akintayo is a billionaire. Hey, don't look at this and say, Daddy, you do do. Won't talk down, do do a one year. It is money. Hey, let me, me, I know something. When I look at somebody, when you laugh, I know it's money that is making you to laugh. When daddy, we, when daddy poop, we, it's money. When you're talking about a billionaire pastor, he's, he's a minister of God in Winners Chapel, one of the pastors there, top pastors. So we have all your fellow Rigba Tafiri Baba Gbe Wabi o Rigba ti Baba o dey po fe ba isoro ni o loruko Jesus ma da fun ya pata wa fun Jesus God bless you man of God you welcome sir yes Hallelujah Glory to God Glory to God um uh, help me celebrate the man of God here uh, pastor Dami Paul uh, anointing to wa lori aye won ko ni dikun lagbara Olorun yo ma gboro si um, you're all welcome. God bless you. My name is Stephen Akintayo. And today, I feel we in Komejo to le ni financial breakthrough. Um, emite en wo yi, uh, ibaton bi mi, talika la wo bi mi. Bo lagbara olon, olon de lo mi la ti le poverty, kuro ni generation mi forever. Mo de gbala dura fun epe, lat e ni lo. In tonpe ni poverty, in tonpe ni agba no, ya asakro ni, ni le ayye, lagba olon. In the name of Jesus, your financial destiny will come alive. You will change level. Um, everything about your finances will turn around supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mo fè ron, encourage bobo yin ten bom yin. E chè e video yin, e kbe anwa ren yin. Because I first saw in commercial eight things to financial breakthrough. 
Anointing without money will lead to annoyance. Let me say it again. Anointing to your basso will only lead to annoyance. Ni, you know, tell by the pastor that me put on rainy. A lot of bad drama or financially. Tell by the man of God, say being pa, he be no ni boboba. Anointing without money will lead to what annoyance. And that's why I need the Latin call and one no wo and one call and one on board of spiritually, physically. Lati change level financially interfere with you. I won't call you. I won't call major talent for you. Romi lawo. To jape leni abi misi meduguri ni ni not. I I I am a civil servant. Baba mi contractor. But at some point, I tell you no bola no no koasi because we only need a little bit me. I I because you know because you know I then trust God for everything all the time and. Along them, Mumi Kro knew here today. Like by Allah, I run 18 companies. You come know it's a real estate company, tiny five estates near Ecolason. And uh, today I travel all over the world. I'm currently in, in uh, Houston from here, Mundo, Maryland. I don't share training. I don't share training in London, Latin Maryland. I share training in London, Latin London, Dubai. Along to share for me, I share for me. Mo baladra for me. Along to share for me, to saw me the international personality. To empower me, or to financially open me up. Along with me, you to a year she. You open up financial destiny. You to be bo obo unkanti otati balowe. Mo baladra for me. Along you dapa da for me. Along you dapa da for me. Along to to a year jabezi she. You to a year she. Along to to a year jobu she. You to a year she. Financially oh ni talaka. Oh ni oh ni talaka. Oh, ni taraka. Mo bala do ape o shu augusti. Yo je o shu financial prosperity fwen. Yo je o shu financial prosperity fwen. Ono yo la fwen. Ono yo la fwen. Ono yo la fwen. Ono yo la fwen. Ni o duko jesu. Ono yo la fwen. Ama wo. Again, bi mo jesu fwen yi. E bere si share video yen. E spi a won re yi. E pe bu bo. Kon wa kon. In kon me jo. To man won won law won nikpa or business won. Nikpa or career won. Because again, mo shi in sofu yi. Ivo taban so ro afe ni meet man of God. Sherry, memba yi she kono. Yo je memba church yi kono. Memba yato. Memba to un so good prophet offering. Oto la ye o. Eh? Oto la ye. Yato si to epe bobo ba. Eku le mi. Enyo anyo yi le mi. Lo man di stop man of God. Ati so si ko le so. So, you boy, you boy, don't change. All I swear, do a low water pay. Oh, why low water long? Fwen. Why if you grow kingdom of God? Hallelujah. Why should you shake you? Why if you grow kingdom of God? Ministry man of God. Oh, yeah, can you big tent? Can you camp meetings? Can you acres of property? All I had a shake. All I had a low. I show my share. I'm missing it. I know long. You're low. Lati if you expand ministry. Okay, but I call on told the lawyer only do I go only there only do that if you say only do hallelujah. I want to call you in some English. Well, major general, I'm a support. Ni will realize ni be by. I mean, okay, glory to God, glory to God. So I'm going to mix the two. Okay, so I'm told I can speak English, but I'm going to still mix the two because actually I still have that Yoruba root of me. I, I thought it's missing, but I think I have it. Yeah, it's there, right? <laughs> Glory to God. So the first secret to financial prosperity that we'll be looking at today is called prayer and fasting. You know, um, he says, This goeth out not except but by what? Prayer and fasting. Mountain ni Nigeria Timothy Logbadra. Sherry Lo me and Marie. Ira wè a de be si ton. A yo de le pa. Eh? A wò to fè pa wò nò man kòkòn kou. O ni spiritual levu to ti de. Ni kòn fin shè le be. Eh? Sòlò mi yè ni si. I wò to o ba fè do lò wò to fè do lò la. O ni de a ti tek or wò prayer and fasting serious. O le jok be li spirituality e. Because wans ti you are beginning to make progress, some people will take it as a life mission to bring you down. 
Can I say it again? I always tell people that when you don't have enemies, it means you are not fulfilling purpose. When you don't have people who have make it a life mission to bring you down, you are not fulfilling purpose. When God begins to take you up, some people will gang up and say their job is to bring you down. That's why you need power. He says, I am the Lord thy God that giveth thee power to get wealth. Getting wealth requires capacity and power for it. Again, he said, I'm the Lord thy God that giveth thee power to get wealth. And you cannot contact power for wealth except you are praying and you are fasting. You cannot contact power for wealth except you are praying and fasting. You need to get to that point where you are investing in prayers and in fasting for your finances. Lord, I comfort my wealth. I, in one minute, I want you to stretch your hand here and begin to decree. Lord, I call forth my wealth from the south, from the east, from the west, from the north. I call forth my prosperity. I call it forth. I call it forth. I call it forth. I call it forth. From every part of the world, I call forth my financial prosperity. Are you praying at all? Are you praying at all? Begin to decree. Begin to declare. Listen to me. You are the prophet over your destiny. In your tongue lies life and death. You need to begin to declare. I call forth my prosperity. I call forth my finances. I call forth my change of level. I call forth my financial prosperity. I call forth my houses. I call forth my cars. I call forth my businesses. Begin to decree. Begin to declare. Begin to decree. Hallelujah. Number one principle to growing your financial prosperity is prayer and fasting. I was sharing with somebody someday. I said, everybody is using something. No? <laughs> you see, everybody is using something. The question is, what are you using? I was shocked the day somebody told me that Dangote has 1,000 afars that shout, Ya Allah, 247. That's their job. 247. They don't sleep. They, 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 they do shift. 247, Ya Allah, on Dangote spaghetti, Dangote cement. That's why you see the whole world rush into the business. You need some um, spiritual backup to your business operation. You see some people try businesses, it fails. It crash. They try to grow their businesses, it crash. Every attempt to take their business to the next level begin to go down. It's because there is no sufficient prayer and fasting backup. You need prayer and fasting backup that will be behind your business. That will be behind your confidence. Because you cannot run business without confidence. I remember many years ago, I had an armed robber come to me. You know, in the dead of the night, I was taking a prayer walk and he didn't know that I was charged. Hallelujah. And then pointed a gun at me. And I told him, I said, shoot. He took a step backward and he said, what did you say? I said, shoot. And I was convinced in my mind that if that gun entered, there's no God anywhere. He ran away. He ran away. You need some power back up. You see, you don't, you don't dominate the earth by eating all the day. Some people have built skyscraper in their tummy. Skyscraper. Money enough to build skyscraper is in their tummy. Every day, eat this one, eat that one. Instead of investing in prayers, investing in fastings, so that when you begin to reign, you stay there. Hello? All this up and down. All this succeed today, come down tomorrow. Your business go up today, come down tomorrow. It's because there's no enough spiritual backup. There has to be enough spiritual backup for your business, for your career. When you have enough spiritual backup, you see, and if you fail in the days of adversity, the scripture says, it's because your what? Your strength is little. That's why we pray. That's why we fast. You see, you don't pray and fast when there's a problem. <laughs> Reason why people fail is because they only pray and fast when there's a problem. You need to build up that spiritual stamina. That in the day of battle, you tell the devil, shut up. Shut up. Many years ago, I remember I had a dream. And I saw myself dead in a coffin. And I remember waking up. And I said, devil, you must be stupid. Because those who are dead don't wake up. And I told her, I said, I will not pray about it. And I'm still alive today. Hallelujah. Everyone who has killed your financial glory, everyone that has put your prosperity inside the coffin, you are resurrected today in the name of Jesus. 
I call you forth. I call for your financial prosperity. I call for your financial stardom. I call for your financial dominion. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name that's above every other name. He said, by the name of Jesus, every name must, but every tongue must confess. Every force of the wicked, wherever they are. Remember, you are far above principalities and powers. Far above rulers of darkness in high places. You are far above wickedness of high places. Witches and witches. You are far above. I decree today, every force of the wicked, against your financial destiny, against the financial destiny of your children, they are cursed today. They are cursed today. They are cursed today. Come out of that financial struggle. Come out of that financial struggle. Come out of that financial struggle. In the name of Jesus, I release you it's your next levels. I release you. It's your financial dominion. I release you. It's your financial prosperity. I release you to go and fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. Quickly. Number two. We are looking at secrets to financial prosperity. To financial breakthrough. Number eight. Have a pastor assigned to you. Listen, he said, I will appoint a pastor after my heart. Everyone has a pastor ordained for him. Everyone has a spiritual place. One of the major challenges people face in life and business is that we don't have a pastor. We don't have somebody that God has sent to us that we trust the word of God in the life of that person. I will continue to listen to the wisdom of that person and grow under that person. For me, I found one. For almost 20 years now, God has used a man of God for me by the name Bishop Boedepo and he has been a blessing to me. I've sat under him, I've learned under him, I continue to learn, I continue to bury my head there. Get, make sure you have a prophet over your life. Let me tell you this. Saul lost it when... He disconnected from the prophet God has assigned to him. He lost it. Which was Samuel. He lost it. He lost it. He lost it. You will not lose your place. You will not lose your place. You will not lose your place. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, you will not lose your place. I say you will not lose your place. Make sure you are connected to a prophet over your destiny. That is able to speak to you. That is able to pray for you. That is able to trust God for you. Once you are under his canopy, nothing can touch you. Hello? I say nothing can touch you. It is the will of God to assign a prophet for you. Make sure you locate one. Please, locate. Don't be a spiritual orphan. Let me say it again. Don't be a spiritual orphan. Don't be a spiritual orphan. Listen, life is not funfair. It's warfare. Let me say that again. Life is not funfair. It is warfare. Whether you are in business, you are in career, you are whatever. Life is not funfair. It is warfare. You need to have a spiritual authority over your life. That you can hide under their spiritual canopy. And you flourish then. Hallelujah. You are blessed. I today pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. That God will connect you with your prophet today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said God will connect you with your prophet. But eventually you don't have one. God will connect you with your prophet today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three. Okay, number three, get a business mentor. It's similar to that. Remember, we talked about the spiritual. So you have a spiritual prophet over your life. You have somebody who is able to speak the word of God and pray for your business, pray for your career. At the same time, you need a mentor. Here, we are talking about a technical mentor. Listen, many people fail in business because they don't have a mentor. They don't have a technical person. Let me give you an example. I met a woman who started... Because sometimes we bump that man pain is spiritual. He should be non spiritual. But me, I want go go and share our. This woman started a, a a supermarket with four million that she got from my husband and several loved people. And I asked her, and of course the thing crashed. So I asked her, I said, "In your own little meetery, don't share share supermarket. To to the agree that mentor. Who have you met? Who is into the business of supermarket? Who is willing to mentor you?" And he said, oh, I couldn't get one. Oh, I don't have any. You know, I'm not sure I could get any. And I, and I laughed. I said, it's not true. I said, if you will get one, it may require a cost. You see, nothing of value is free. 
You, I said to her, I said, it was better for you to look for somebody in the business of supermarket. I said, ma, ma wa she shall London in for, for, for three months or six months. I'm not very better, but I'm not very better in London, but I'm not very for three months. I said, you could have looked for that. Because the whole four million, gone. Everything disappeared. You need to have a technical mentor. Talon Kwe. There is a man by the name, is the owner of uh, Kostaris. Bubuala Mo Kostaris. Kostaris Motors is in Africa. One of the leading motor company in Africa. Uh, Cosmos Maduka Lelito Nibe. Cosmos Maduka at the age of, 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 of 11. No meet mentor to be a Nipa or business. At some point, when he was the age of uh, 16, one Mulo head branch in Kaduna. At the age of. Only one not to pay Ibato by junior shop, Ulara Ro, or Mampo, only shop rat. Everybody used to laugh at him. Shop rat, shop rat, shop rat. Because in the shop, Loma Titaja, in the shop, Loma Son, in the shop, Loma G. But today, Kostaris is one of the multi billionaires we have in dollars in, in Africa. All on there grow. And my yo, Kokawe, Kolo University. All on there turn destiny around overnight. All on change everything. Fun. Because this man had a mentor to Kodekawe. And it answered you, Kokawe, Kolo Skuri. But only mentor to Kolo Hello, me no wa mo the man so pay generation a problem wa ni pride arrogance. We are so proud. There's nobody we can submit to. There's nobody we are, we are willing to learn from. There's nobody we are willing to learn the craft and the business we are into from the person. And we are wondering why we are not prospering. Every business the motivation they are me. I want business me on mentor. All the businesses I've done that had problem where businesses to help people say you don't call me. Me only mentor to everything. Bad issues. Mo le lo ba pe ba mo she le your your you know solve problem. Me only those were the businesses I failed in. And many people long to like to succeed in business. Yes, and because of it, you make only bready. Apa lo pe tiwa belo la yo mo omolomo. She the ribo ba ye she flourish. When you have a technical mentor. Omo ti o lo modeling school elo mi ti lo modeling school lata ro di forever yet ko di nkan you need a technical mentor that can educate you that can open you up to how to succeed in the business that you are doing in the trade that you are doing you need a mentor locate one and i pray for you that god will bring that mentor your way in the name of jesus christ i decree in the next 24 hours you will be connected to your technical mentor that will open you up to that business uh, that will grow into billions in the name of Jesus Christ. One nearly three over my dash of the same God that moved me from zero. One of our business, I believe, 1,000 and I moved me to the rent. Property asset wise is in billions today. I pray that same God, uh, the same business you have in your hand, he will multiply it. He will expand it. He will turn it around. Your business will jump to the next level. It at all, your beginning may be small. I decree your latter end shall greatly increase. In the name of Jesus Christ, your business will increase. Your business will explode into new realms. It will go global. It will go global. It will go global. The same God that is helping me today. We have four, four businesses in the US. We are opening Dubai office it's on the 17th in UK. The same God will take down your business global in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I mean number four, which is very, very important. Okay, be an investor. Hello, me in tone she, cherry, oh man, you are the agbano of your life, if you allow me to say that. Let me give you an example of what I'm saying. If Bobo Woton was out there, to repay only Peko to, or then not Bobo, eh, you will like by not on share here. You will go go, near by not on share here. Bobo Woton was out there, Bobo alone, no. You will go go, like by not on share here. A Jay Funina assignment come, a de Bodoche, a bar along, along Funini Grace Latiche. A Beresima call Bobo Water Banno. And my cousin paper all through the month of August. Era chewing gum, era toothpick, era whatever. A cousin paper. By the end of the month, a review. Bobo Bejeno, Emma Ragbano. Hello, me calling card ni Agbano. Oh, 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 o
a Johnny Lori phone, a Johnny Kula. Oh, then wonder why Tio she do low. You must understand the importance of investment. Oh, but hello, me te ba wo wardrobe e ibeni investment e wa. Te ba kakule bobo jewelry ati bag toti ra ati bobo e asho kenong pe nisi asho toman loan bobo party you know asho e bi te ba kakule te oti to build four bedroom duplex ni like if it's one oti to. O de mama ni o mama pe profit up and down e ba do afun mi eh eh financial problem loan she mi you want loan she re you want loan she re. Out of the little you are making, begin to invest. You begin to invest. That's how I started. That's how I started. Start small. When 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 when, but when I started my life, I remember my mates. When we finished school, everybody want to live inside Lagos. You know, at the little money I had, I started my office in Nikeja. But where I was living was in Songwater. Yes, Songwater. I would take bus. I had enough money to buy a car. Me Ramoto, Moshi office, Moshi business. Hello, me, my envy. You see, there are some people you should do envy. You are not where they are because you couldn't do, make the sacrifices they made. Period. You are not where they are because you couldn't make the sacrifices they make. Mo de wa niota. Mo ya rent a bedroom flat, 200,000. Easy. Me wa 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 yoku wa ni a wa le be anywhere inside city. One no one million. No re rent. E mi mo so fun wa mo nanti mo so ele e clearly fun a mo ni. Me o fè bebi, to ye pe mama pre an fast, la ti so o rent. Inti mo so fun ya wo mine. Mo ni ibi to ba jen mama ni da ti ma pre an fast, la ti so o rent. Mi o fè rwe. Mo de wa ni son go, mo de ngro business wa de. Ma te commercial veku, a wanto mok mi. Pe ha, ki lo nshe, on wushi wwa boss, kakiri. You know, by the time te mi move si city, mo ti ni estate. A wan yoku wan te ti rale dola. On ti rale dola. Investment is what important. Begin, man, jebo bo wo to make. Begin to put something aside. Begin to put something aside. Begin to put something aside. If it's a property you want to buy, begin to pay small, small. Ole, ole mani bo bo wo yelo lekon. It's my son dear dear. I'm in your money meet younger brother. Me ni ni Dallas. You know, gishe by blood, but be a bro lo jesse me. Oh then, oh oh, we invest a lot of money in the U.S. for the past three years. More than billion, money kilo to achieve for three years. Only a month, and she's more. Me oti, me oti graduate. Me she's too low because oh she's too bad at law school. Ni bi bye. Only she security. Me she two thousand um two hundred. Come me make. Eh, we rent me one thousand five every month. More than billion the question come. Money more more pay off because me I can understand because I mean eight hundred dollars in kilo ku. Barely one thousand. Ko told me so we hotel ni imba timba one US for one week. You know, pay so more understand pay hard. Money bought show more pay to buy things save three hundred dollars. Ko the I want stay to one in Nigeria. Don't they credible? But you know the the fact that they are fake estates mean pay their original. They can't be a fake until there's an original. Samsung lele lenwoi. Kanto le she fake is Samsung the original but don't exist. So the fact because I don't make excuse to give me out to the finilari, ah, I want fake people, ah, that one or two, then no bobo one, ah, mo mo piti out. What credible estate to my mara most of my bro me money to buy save three hundred dollars every month, three years now. Oh, but he need almost one acre, neko to jail there. Money hotel they decide that he might relocate to Nigeria mo. But by the time time we abandon that, because most shall life for what you need, you need something, you need to be more money. By the time to buy at the university, need be by to the to reach she money very soon you will discover, which is what many people are discovering today, that your new income will not be enough again because you need to move to a new apartment because your baby has come, you have made more bills, you need to get better cars. And before you know it, the money you thought would be better would be enough. Will still not be enough. So you continue the rat race. Savings is a culture. You cultivate it even in the days where you don't have enough. And I told him, I said, in three years you will have gotten many property today. And he said to me, I know it's true. I said, so you are starting today. Build the culture of investment. Build the culture of investment. Uh, you know, Pastor, le pray for him. One leg, leg. Sorry, I hear. Ti wo gonna obashi ti e kuzin tolo ndeshi. God needs you to do something. He said, "I will bless the work of your hand." Oh, bani kato my blessing. Call. 
He says, I will bless the work of your land. You need to have something God will bless. Isaac sowed in the land, and the same year he reap a hundredfold. It's your year, and he pay that year. Isaac dug well, and he irrigated the land, the farming business. Don't she? Oh, dig well. The first well won't well, block it. So I know some of you have tried to invest. I want to do pre, but more ballad draft for this. Wait, why recover? You will recover all in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have lost in business, in career, in investment, you will recover all. You will recover all. You will recover all. Listen, the fact that you have lost money is not a reason not to be an investor. Isaac invested in that well, one, one, one blocker. Or to she well, KG, or to block it because he did not finish she well. There was farming in the land. Oh, they need your me that if you irrigate our farm business, our uh, uh, crops there. Eh? Oh, shake But at some point, I do it, but oh, they block it. Oh, they do it. And I pray for you. He told you, you have been losing in business. You've been losing in investment. Your time of deliverance has come. Every investment you make from today, you will profit from it. Every investment you make from now, you will succeed in it. Every investment you make from now, you will not lose in it. In the name of Jesus Christ, be an investor. Stop disturbing people up and down. Stop playing pity victim all the time. Out of the little you have, you can invest something. Glory to God. Glory to God. Are you blessed at all? If you have been blessed, come on, type, I am blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Come on, type, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Number, number uh, five, I believe. Avoid waste. Listen, Africa is poor because we are wasteful. <laughs> Africa is poor because we are wasteful. I have somebody very close to me now. Uh, auntie or whatever wants to do 50th birthday. Disturbing everybody, I can't pay flight ticket. You pay your flight ticket. I mean, and I just say, must you be a burden on anybody? When I did my wedding, ladies and gentlemen, we are less than 20 in the room. And it has been a fruitful one. We are less than 20 in the room. You know, we suffer anybody, go rush be go rush anything. No, 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 I don't want to be a burden to anybody. No, 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 no. We are too wasteful in Africa. Too wasteful, too wasteful. Party lady, party lola. Oh, then wonder why it was any prosperity. You want to wind the year? You want like jet on share? You want like jet on share finances? You want go go like jet on share finances? You you know you can do big parties. You know you can't. You you don't have a house. You don't have you know your your children in good schools. You can't take care of and you are doing party up and down for what? In fact, the little mama invite me for party going room abba. Mo busy June, go with my best friend. Me to wa fun wedding. Me just tell my she wedding tie. O so fun ya omi. Oni talk ko e oba wa fun wedding. Me mo understand. O busy gon. Yes, best friend me ni lo so. To repo on lo best man no. Oni mo understand. Mo ko e busy. To oba wa fun wedding. Me me ofishe binu. Get something doing with your life. Get busy. We are too wasteful. Wasteful up and down. A lot of people near America. You did one fi re party she to one re koko she. Wa de bi bye. Mortgage, three bedroom flat. Eh, but to repay credit, you want me by what I can't do to your cora. Eh, what I'll be sure she can't. Why, mama, why under body? Why, my wife, generational cost, no miss a year. Only that is some uh, bill or uh, motto for 50 years. Only that is some way we live for 25 years. Eh, I want more long cost. You may say you ruin your own year. My own now. Stop wasting money. Stop wasting money. Be an investor. Enough. Shut that party down. You want to show? Who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to impress? Many times when I started, people were mocking. Let me say this. Hey, when people are mocking you, your God is making you. I pray for you. That your mockery will turn to your making. In the name of Jesus Christ. That every form of mockery in your life we turn to a making. The Lord God of heaven will make you. The Lord God of heaven will make you. He will create a way for you. Forget those who are mocking you. They mocked me too before. You know, open them businessman, on track. Open them businessman, which is lock at which is go more go down for. <laughs> Today they are seeing me fly all over the world, training people all over the world. The same people are they not alive to see it. Everyone who mock you, they will be alive to see you do glorious things. They will be alive to see you build estates. They will be alive to see you expand. 
go global, go continental in the name of Jesus Christ. So don't mind their mockery is for making. Stop trying to impress anybody. Life is in faces, men are in sizes. Leave your size part time. Life is in faces, men are in sizes. Leave your size part time. Stop sewing your clothes according to your size. Sew it according to your material. I mean, Bobo Alani, big size. We trust God for big things. But if you don't have the money for it now, relax. Relax. Stop disturbing yourself. Relax. Godliness with contentment is great gain. That's what the Bible says. Be contented with where God has taken you. Be contented. Be, be hardworking. But be grateful for where you are. Stop trying to impress anybody. There is no mortal man I mean, trying to impress him. You are not worth it. We impress you for what? You, you, you have the right to say what you feel like saying is your opinion and you are entitled to it. Are you with me now? These are the powerful business principles Thomas, that will lead to your financial breakthrough. You must break through this year. Listen, I call forth millionaires, even in US dollars, from this meeting. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call forth millionaires in US dollars, even in this meeting. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you put these things to work, you will see that your life will level. It will level. Glory to God. Number six, pay your tithe and offering. Listen, there is nobody that grows in finances that is not a sacrificial giver. Many people are struggling in their finances because they are not givers. You have to understand the covenant of giving. You belong to a church, give your seed, pay your tithe. You don't do it for the pastor. You don't do it to impress anybody. And by the way, for your information, I don't have a church. Oh. I'm privileged to serve under God's servant, Bishop Oedepo, but I don't have a church of my own. So don't think I'm trying to talk to you so that you give to me. I don't have any ministry to ask you to give to. But these are covenant principles that make great men, that make great businessmen. You want to grow in your finances. You want to grow in your business. You must be a giver. Imagine the man of God who runs this platform, comes here every day. This is like his life, praying for you people, you know, impacting your life. How many times have you sold into his ministry? Uh, uh, the anointing you don't sow into cannot profit you. Let me tell you this. Anointing that you don't sow into cannot profit you. A man of God begins to plan. Some of you will call him day and night, disturb him up and down, as if, you know, he does not have his own life to live to. And yet you don't understand the principle of sowing. There are some things that only answer to giving. That answer to giving. Covenant practice. You must be a covenant practitioner. You must be. Let me share a story with you. Many years ago, you know, we got some money. And then we were to pay the tithe. And I attend a big church where they don't even care about your tithe and, and offering. You can drop your check. It won't be cleared. Because they are not hungry. And I dropped the check for the tithe. And they did not cash it. And after a while, you know, I grew hungry. I, you know, I spent the money because it was not cashed. And I remembered how things became tight. The reason why we pay tight is so that things will not be tight to us. The reason why we sow offerings, we give, we, we, we develop giving spirit is so that we can expand and prosper. And, you know, I just didn't pay that tight and things became so tight. It was the worst period of my life in business. I struggled. I struggled. So I remember I was just praying to God, God, help me, help me, help me. I vow, I promise you that if I come back financially, if things work back, I will not owe you again. I will not owe you again. As soon as the heavens opened up, I remember people didn't know what was wrong with me. I went to the bank. You know, that particular new seed, the title of it was 1.6 million. I went to the bank. I said, I want cash because I dropped check the other time. They did not cash it. And that was what led me to spending it. I just would do but I it was cash like this. I went to the church or secretariat and drop it. I mean, people, everybody, in fact, even the second uh, the accountant was there, but you can drop check. I said, mm, you understand what's going on here. I don't want to hold God again. Hallelujah. So you need to understand that when you see people prosper, when you see forget what man of God is doing with the money, the judgment of men of God are with God. Be, that's why they call them men of God, men of God. God owned them, isn't it? So it's none of your business, you know, they are using our money to do whatever. Well, let them use your money to do whatever they feel like. It is for your own benefit. 
Are we together now? And your giving is not a, a donation. It is a seed. It's a spiritual transaction between you and God. Every time I have so, and I'm saying again, note it, go and Google, I don't have a church. I am a businessman. I don't have a church. I am a businessman. And, I, and God has helped me grow my business too. So I'm telling you what worked. The reason why Pastor uh, Prophet Dami Paul brought me here is because he saw me as a businessman God has blessed. And wanted me to share secrets so that you can also be a blessed person. So I don't have a church. I'm not preaching this for you to come. And I don't have a ministry for you to give anything. Please get it. I have products I sell. I have products I sell. I sell lands. I have five estates. I sell products and services. But I don't have a ministry for you to come and sow. So I'm not teaching you this to sow anything. Get it well. And get it well. But these are covenant practice. That make people become prosperous. You must be a giver. It's none of your business what your pastor has used with the money. If you like it, you have 20 private jets. Your prayer should be that you should buy one for him. I always pray it every day. Lord, bless me to a point that I can buy a private jet for my own man of God. Get, bless me to that point. I mean, it does work. Bless me to that point. I have no business what the man of God does with the money. is between him and what? And God. Okay, this is a spiritual transaction. That's why many of many people lose out, even in serving God. You go to that church, you're only serving God because of the man of God. You want him to look at your face, you want him to pray for you, you want him to appreciate you and massage your ego. That's why many people are not blessed. All the time I've served by the grace of God, almost 20 years in the ministry God had planted me, which is Winner's Chapel. I have not done it to impress any man. I have not done it to make anybody see me. I was telling people many days, I said, I have never asked for a one-on-one -on -one sit down with Bishop Boydepo in my life, yet I'm an ordained pastor in Canaan land. I've never asked for one. I don't need it. He has preached the word. He has told me what to do. I should go and do it. I don't need to begin to jump up and down, lay hands on me, lay legs on me. But what he has asked me to do, I should do it. And as I'm doing it, my life has been changing level. And things have been working for me. So settle down. Settle down and understand the principle of obedience. God says so, so. God say pay your tithe, pay your tithe. Let leave the rest to anybody. Pray that God should even bless you that you can do great things for your own pastor. Hallelujah. Are you blessed at all? I have realized that every, I remember I had the miracle of 30 million transaction in 48 hours. And it was because I sowed a seed to a man of God placed over me. I sowed a seed. That, it, I have never seen it before. I have never seen that kind of miracle. That was how everything turned around. Your seed is a spiritual transaction. That's number uh, your number six. Okay? Spiritual transaction. That is pay your tithe and your offering. It's a spiritual transaction between you and God. Are you blessed at all? Glory to God. Glory to God. I believe you are blessed. Are you blessed at all? Come on. Type I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Come on. Type I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I pray that God of heaven, we look at all your seed, all your tithe, and things from today will no longer be tight for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, from today, things will no longer be tight for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that has been tight for you financially, career-wise, as you begin to practice the covenant of tithe and offering, I pray for you that everything will open up. Supernaturally open up. Supernaturally open up. Supernaturally open up. In the name of Jesus Christ. There will be a supernatural turnaround for you. In your business. Listen to me. That place they rejected you. Go back there. Go back there. Go back there. That door will open up. In the name of Jesus Christ. I heard it in my spirit very clear. That place they rejected you. Go back there. Go back there. God has been waiting for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go back there. God has been waiting for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, number seven. Number seven. Are we ready? <laughs> Glory to God. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So, so let me recap it again. The first principle we learned is that we should pray and fast. The second powerful secret to financial breakthrough we learned is that we should have a pastor and prophet over our lives that we are accountable to. All those who prosper as businessmen, even in the Bible, they had a priest over their life that they listened to. Eh? <laughs> okay, number three, we say get a business mentor. 
Okay, get a business mentor. It, when we say business mentor, a technical mentor. Somebody who understands the business. He's been doing the business for years. You know, and can show you the way. And can guide you. You can tell you, ah, Mashibai, Mashibai. I remember one of my protege. Who, July 2nd, celebrated the second year of his business. Second year. This young man met me at the training. And... He came back to me and said, as I just you training me, I want to do an internship with you. And he told me one thing, I can't forget. He said, sir, I will make you proud. And I've heard that several times from several people, so I ignored it. And he did internship with our company for six months. After that, he started his company. 2nd of August of July was his two-year anniversary. This young man has achieved what it took me seven years to achieve in two years. He now has... 10 subsidiaries, he has more than 10 staff. Even Covert University gave him an award of excellence and dis distinction in his business. Things are turned around for him in two years. Where he is in status, it took me seven years to get there. That's the power of having a business mentor who can show you the way. There was a time he wanted to take a loan for something. I said, No, don't take that loan. This is what you should do. You know, and he listened to me. Everything turned. Huh? Get a business mentor. People fail in business because they don't have business mentor. They leave it only to the spiritual mentor. And a spiritual mentor is to help you spiritually. A business mentor is to help you technically. You need it. Okay? Number four, we say be an investor. Stop eating all your money. Divide your money into three. Invest some part into low interest investment. When we say low interest investment, investment that give you just 1%. One, one digit interest. In other words, they give you like 10%, 5%. Okay? One digit interest. Okay? One digit interest. The second part of your money, remember, we say you should divide your investment money into three. The second part, put it into mid risk investment. Mid risk investment only gives you what? Only gives you, you know, um, 2%, like uh, 15%, 20%, 25%. Okay, then the last part of your money, not more than 25%, you cannot put it into high investment. Many people lost their MMM, uh, B whatever, because they put all their money, not just their own money, family member, the relative, cousin, they put it all in high risk investment. High risk investment will always fail. It may take one year, it may take two years, it may take three years, but it will fail. So you only put just 25% of your money into those kind of investments. And as you make profit, you put it back into the low and the mid. Because it's the low and the mid investment that is sustainable. Don't be greedy. A young man chatted me today. He said, sir, I have 500000 Tell me one investment I can do in one week that I can make $1 million out of 500000 I said, you, you, will, you are either a scammer or you'll be scammed. And I told him, I mean, I'm very direct. I'm a very straight, blunt person. I told him, when he's come and he, why he told me, he told me, he told me, the fraud long, only 500,000, first saw the 1 million in one week. You thief. I told him, you thief. That's not realistic. He said, Movello Canada, Moni Duro. I said, but you're a thief. It's not realistic. It's high risk. You can lose all the money. At the end of the day, you will now say, Oh, what bad new? What gym you know? Oh, greed. Greed has killed many people who call themselves businessmen. You are greedy. You are greedy. Divide your investment into three some into low risk, profit in your poor, but who are secured. Some into mid risk. Eh? So, you know, all poor dear. Then some into what? High risk. That's how to secure your money so that no, you know, because every high risk investment, even if the people are true. They are not trying to defraud you. It's not sustainable. Ladies and it's not sustainable. So it will soon fail. One year, two years, my fail, boom, my crash. And then you will not be saying, what shit me? I mean, stop being a victim. You're a victor. You're a king. Stop being a slave. Stop being a slave. Open up your mind. Are, are you blessed at all? You know, I may be harsh on you. I hope I'm not too harsh. Can I go on? <laughs> okay, I hope I'm not too harsh. You know, but these are principles that will change your life forever. They will change your financial destiny forever. These are wisdom that you need to hear. Okay? And we said, number six, avoid, number uh, five, avoid waste. Don't be wasteful. Party lane, party lola, I should be to, I should be tomorrow. Stop being wasteful. Stop being wasteful. Stop being wasteful. Number 
six, we said, pay your tithes and pay your what? Your offerings. Okay? Pay your tithe and pay your offering. We say you are not, this is not a donation. It is a spiritual transaction between you and God. Boboto on son, kishe, owo ye kishe is with your pastor. You are not giving your pastor money. You are, you are having a transaction between God, your maker. And he himself will reward you. And I pray that every seed you have sown will speak. This week, your seed will speak. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will hear your, your, your sweet smelling sacrifice. And the windows of heaven will open over your life. This week, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, two more principles. Are you ready? If you are ready, come on, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Are you ready for two more principles and we shut down? Glory to God. Are you blessed at all? Has this been a blessing to you? Glory to God. Glory to God. Number seven. Okay. Have multiple streams of income. One of the major advantage of giving seed and sowing, you know, paying your tithe is that anything you now lay your hands on will now what? Will prosper. That's the advantage of sowing seeds. Because you say, I will prosper the works of your hand. But you need to have a work. You need to have multiple streams of income. I tell people that you must have minimum four sources of income. We have this prayer meeting we do every 5 p.m. on my uh, fan page. I'll give you the details later. And, you know, yesterday we talked about in, in Genesis chapter 2, how God planted Adam in the Garden of Eden. And he gave him four rivers to water the garden. And those four rivers signifies four sources of income. For so, minimum four sources of income. On a man, it to one bar wale. Obodo no no man. Minimum to one thing bar wale fun eh. Let me say this: In your to ban to ban make a woman monthly. Ishe eru lonche. Ishe eru. If you are only making money monthly, you are a slave. I'm not trying to use this to 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 insult you, but it's the truth. You are only making money monthly. You are a slave. You are slave to whatever system you are in. You must be able to have multiple streams of income. Multiple, multiple different ways bringing money. This is not to necessarily you must have 20 jobs or 4 jobs. No. But you must classify what you do and structure it. So I give people 4 ways you can make money. And I advise that you have those 4 ways. Number 1, you can make money by having a job. He that cannot provide for his family is, is worse than an infidel. You must be able to have a job that brings money. Number two, be self-employed. Listen, again, people will say, I've been looking for a job. They didn't give me one. Volunteer. Volunteer. In fact, on this uh, 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 Prophet Dami Paul's platform, you know, our company is taking over. We're building a website called DamiPaul.com. Coming out very soon. We need writers. We need uh, as, um, um, uh, script writers. We need um, people who can transcribe some of these videos into articles and things like that. So, you can volunteer. It's not, I mean, but it is a cost not to have a job. You must be doing something. You don't sit in the morning. It's a cost. Some of you, your wife is one feeding you. You don't have something you are doing. It's a cost. It's a cost. Get up and walk. Even if you used to work for free, get up and do something with your life. Stop sitting down there. You sit down, you know, wait, you know, you know, hello, we're looking for a job. We're trusting God. What job are you looking for? Get one. If you will volunteer, if they will not pay you many, and I'm not, listen, what I'm teaching you is what I did. When I finished school, there was no job. After applying, I wrote a CV and I did a cover letter and I put there. I said, hello, sir, please, I am willing to work with you for six months without pay. If I, if I work hard enough and I do well, kindly, and I stated it. I said, kindly um, employ me. But I'm ready to prove my worth for six months without pay. No, no. So I'm not teaching what I didn't practice. Plus that, they still didn't give me work. When they refused to give me work, I started my own. And today we are talking of 18 companies by the grace of God that God has used me to build in my, in my young age. 18 companies. Four in the U.S. Yet, I'm not a U.S. citizen. And people are, I mean, come on, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. God gave you a brain so that I can rest. God gave you a brain so that I can rest. If you are not, if you are financially poor, it's because your wisdom pipe is blocked. 
If you are poor, it's because your wisdom pipe is blocked. Pop it open. And I pray for everyone here that God, will, the, the, the Spirit of the Lord, will over on your brain right now. And you will begin to get inspired ideas. Inspired ideas for businesses, for, 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 for inventions, for witty invention. Because you're a pace setter, you're a trailblazer. You are to do great things that the whole world will wonder. I pray as a man of God who has gotten tangible results, that which I have, I give to you today. That God will begin to give you inspired ideas in the name of uh, workable ideas. Ideas that from now will launch into your realms of billions. Those ideas will begin to come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, you blessed. Ah, you blessed. Oh God, I'm fired up. There's so much anointing in this place. I don't think this is a studio. This is an altar. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay, so um, get a job. Number two way you can make money is to be self-employed. Monetize your talent. You have a talent. You have a skill. You can sing. You can talk. Uh, event. Be self-employed. Four ways to make money. One, get a job that brings money for you regularly. Number two, be self-employed. Monetize your talent. The talent God has given you, monetize it. I can make hair. I can sing. I can act. I can begin to use that too. Number three, be a business owner. And when we say business owner, the difference between being an enter, uh, uh, a self-employed and a business owner is called automation. Those who are business owners are those who have automated their business. One one day one simple business one run. I've been out of Nigeria for two months now. Our company is running. Nothing missing, nothing broken because there are over 50 staff who every day they are running, working hard to make the company continue to run. I met some, someone who was chatting me up today. He said, ah, I want to buy into your estate. He said, but I'm waiting till you call. I said, why are you waiting? I mean, I don't run that. I just own the company. There are people who run it. And I gave him the contact of the office. So you need to have a business that has structure. Structure, structure, structure. Ah, some of you, you say, go magic wisdom. Me, don't be a mediocre. Don't be a mediocre. Don't be a mediocre. Yes, put structure. The reason why things don't rupture is because there's a structure. Things rupture when there's no structure. Get a structure. Eh? Pay people. Get people to work with you. Put structure. But to balance your salary, so people are volunteer. Yes, let them work for free. Life is in phases, men and sizes, but work with people, work with structure, work with people, work with structure. It's important. Yeah? People equals money. I always teach people. I say people equals money. People will be your greatest problem, but yet they will still be your greatest asset. So forget that you have. I have seen all manner, but I call forth people for you. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your network determines your network. I call for the right people. The people God will use to take you to the next level. I call them for today. I call them for today. People will defend you in high places. I have a friend who is a billionaire early this year. When everybody is complaining in January, he got two contracts. Each one was over 3.5 billion each. Two. Only him by the same company. Two contracts. And he said when they were deliberating that they shouldn't give him the job, two people who had never done business with him, that he had even been sending proposal to rose up and say, no, this man can do the job. He can do the job. He can do the job. We support him. Let's give him the job. That will be your story. I say in high places, when they are mentioning your name, Allah Tako Nidi Defo, Mobala Jafo, Ibitoba Tindaru Kwefu Rere, Obogwala Tako, Mobawa Wileni, Nyoruko Jesu, mo ba won wile ni loruko jesu awon to ma dide ni jo to ba soro e fun rere awon oni na lowo people will help you destiny help us sir. god will call them forth for you in the name of jesus christ are you blessed at all so it's important that you have multiple streams of income number 4 is what i've said earlier have let money work for you so have investment that's number 4 ways to make money let money work for you. Have an investment. An investment where you just only put your money. You are not working. The money is just working for you. Now, let me tell you this. Man was never created to work for money. Man was created so that money will work for him. 
Man was never created to work for money. Man was created so that money will work for him. It is a cost for you to be working for money. It's a cost. It, that's why those who work for money never become rich. Never. Never. Your money is supposed to be work. Money is an errand boy. Like I tell people, I say, money is a good slave, but a wicked master. Let me say it again. Money is a good slave, but a wicked master. That's why Emarello meet. Because give. Offering. You know, don't ever work for money. Let what money work for you. Don't make money your master. Let it be your slave. Send money on an errand. Some people now, once their account is getting red. They begin to have hypertension. It means you are working for money. It means money is your God. Money is your master. Real entrepreneurs don't always have cash in their account, but they have investment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. I can tell you, I don't have plenty of money in my account. Yeah. But by the grace of God, I have five estates, and we're trusting God by the year 2035, we are going to 200 estates. So I have, I have no business with money being in the account. I want money to be working for me. I want the money to be there in investment, in form of investment. Where things are turning, you know, growing in, in 20 years from now. People are saying he owns everything. I say, how did he get there? It's God. It's wisdom. Okay? So, delay gratification. Make sure you have investment opportunities. Have investment Don't try to impress anybody. I remember when my mate started buying Radio Over Sport, I started buying acres of land. That's when I started my estate. So I didn't follow them to be buying all manner of cars. I was buying land. And very soon we know who is the big boy. <laughs> Glory to God. So be smart. Remember, you have nobody to impress. In be a good investor. Hallelujah. Lastly, are you ready for the last one? I will take questions and then I will pray for you. And I will trust God for you. I will join my faith with God's servant here who, who runs this platform. That millionaires in dollars will come from this platform. And when you are testify, load the platform. But long, I want zero near anyone, but long, they saw the millionaire from the instruction coming out here. I thought I would hear a louder amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The last one, are you ready for the last point? And this is very important. Learn to develop capacity for your trade. That's the last one. Develop capacity for your trade, for your craft, for your business. Develop capacity. Those who reign in life are those who train. If you want to reign in life, Obodo train. Eli toba ma reign, toba ma joba, toba ma jolori, Obodo kole kogidi. Eli toba ma jolori, toba ma joba, Obodo. Oba toba ma reign, lori ya, ibitolong besi, Obodo le kogidi. Obodo ni wisdom. Into help Solomon ye. Solomon need depth of wisdom. But wisdom comes as a result of capacity development. Capacity development. Thank God for prayers. But prayer is no substitute for capacity development. Thank God for spirituality. Spirituality is no substitute for capacity development. Those who train will reign in life. Let me say it again. Those who train will reign in life. Those who train will reign in life. You need to be schooled. You need to be trained you need to invest in training. Apostle Dami Paul, uh, uh, Prophet Dami Paul is, will be in uh, Maryland where there will be powerful meetings. Go there and train. Those who are men of God, those who want to go into ministry. You, God has given this man something dangerous. You need to learn it. Go and, I mean, you see, I don't know this arrogance here and there. Me, me I'm a humble person. You have results. I'll come to you. But, but what, whatever I need to learn from you, I will come and learn it. You don't need all this arrogance here and there, pop and me jumping up and down. If somebody has results in something, wisdom, go and learn from him, train under him and learn something. Okay? We also have a training in Maryland coming up this uh, um, Saturday. You want to be there? It's going to be on 20 businesses you can do. If you are in Maryland, come and shout at me, Maryland. Hallelujah. 20 businesses you can do in the U.S. and prosper, including real estate. I'm going to be sharing with you in Maryland this Saturday. From 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's a full day. We have lunch. We have coffee break. You know, at, at Silver Spring Sheraton Hotel. 
it's uh, it's what it's going to be massive it's going to be massive if you are maryland you want to be there i'll give you the details later but remember it's important to develop capacity i want to grow i want to succeed i want to develop capacity we also be in in in, uh, in london on the 12th of august so this Saturday, 5th of August is Maryland, 12th of August is, is London, while uh, 19th of August is Dubai. Do you see in Atisheti, um, Houston, Atisheti, Dallas, Atisheti, uh, New York is the town of Maryland, then London, then uh, Dubai. Training on 20 businesses. Oh man, do me think about what US for vacation. Birubi Moshe, why new US? Listen, my idea, I want you Nigerians, I want you security men. Eh, these are people to happen in Nigeria. Omonile, Omolono. Eh? Hello, me, oh, no, she driver, no, she, oh, all manner of ridiculous job. Meanwhile, I will tell people, I say, why T Nigerians will own hotel, hotel, Tim Monsoon? We are called Jen Nigerian, Loma, own it. Nigerians, we are called Niru Hotel, by. Eh? So we need to have Nigerians go into business, build their businesses, become entrepreneurs, and succeed. I mean, does Bill Gates have two heads? Does Mark Zuckerberg have two heads? They don't have two heads. You can do it. And God is no respecter of person. What he has done for one, he can do for others. If you believe him, he will do it for you. 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 Do it for you. So believe God for breakthrough. That even in the land of U.S., for those of you all over the world, in U.S., in Houston, in, 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 in London, in Dubai, UK, I pray for you. Stretch your hand in this direction. That country will open up for you. The country you live in now will open up for you. You will dominate that land. You will inherit that land. The wealth of there will be wealth transfer right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be wealth transfer right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to build houses. You will begin to build hotels. You will begin to build empires. You will begin to build businesses in the name of Jesus. I call for wealth transfer. Enough of slave trade. You can run businesses here and succeed. I have four that I just started and in, in just a few months. Four companies. You can do it. It is possible. I am a proof that it works. I am a proof that you can do business legally without missing corner and succeed. I tell people, enough of all this, you know, crime. All these, you know, crime jobs. All these, uh, steal somebody's money. 419, they're scamming, hacking. We can make money legally. I'm a proof of that. Go and Google my name. You will see a lot. I'm a proof that you can make it legally. You don't need to cut corners. God blesses. And when God bless, no man can curse. It is the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow. Ladies and gentlemen. He says, I'll make you the head and not the tail. He says, you will borrow nations. Sir. Listen, if you are indebted right now, I cancel your debt in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel that debt in the name of Jesus Christ. No debt will follow you to the month of September. As the Lord liveth, no debt will follow you to the month of September. Your debt is canceled. You will begin to lend to nations, sir. You will not borrow. You will begin to lend to nations. The God that canceled my debt in 20, 2012, he will erase all your debts. He will erase all your debts. 2012, 2013, I was under a huge burden. But God canceled it. He canceled the debt. And forever not to have debt again. Never. Never. You will cancel your debt. He will cancel your debt. You will not borrow. You will not borrow. You will not borrow. You will not borrow. Your children will not be slaves. Your children will not borrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed. Remember, you need to invest in training. One of the, the first time I came to U.S., I came for training. I came for training. It was a World Bank training. Every time I come, I come for training. Last year was when our asset, our real estate moved to one billion. I went for a training where three billionaires in dollars taught me. And I paid money in dollars. To I traveled all the way from Nigeria. There was a training I went for in London. I paid 1,600 pounds. Minus flight ticket, hotel accommodation everything just to come and learn listen capacity the church has talked a lot about you know discovery discovery your your inheritance we have talked a lot about delivery god can deliver god can change your story in 24 hours but we have not talked enough about capacity there are some things you need to do for god to bless you you also need to develop because god loves you and he doesn't want to kill you there are some blessings that kills Yes. 
story eco si capacity la ti fili absorb and i pray for you today that god will give you capacity to handle the blessing that is coming your way you will not fail under the cloak of the blessings in the name of jesus christ they are listen they don't teach how to make money in the university and you need to learn that they don't teach you how to make money in the university you are taught how to work for somebody that's what you learn in the university we are talking about informal trainings in wealth creation some people will tell me i want to become rich and i ask them how many books of money lotika ah book how many training you know you are joking the same way, uh, you know, man of God that is here now have served under great men of God. That's why he's succeeding in ministry. He can't come here now and tell you that ah, uh, no, 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 serve under anybody. Me, no, can come by ministry, but alone, Nikki Mashi ministry. In the same way, as a businessman, as a career, you must invest in knowing your trade. Go for trainings, go for exposure, go for opportunities. Hallelujah. Are you blessed at all? If you are blessed, come on, type, I am blessed. 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 You will not just be, a, you be blessed. You will be a blessing to your world in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay? Everybody's asking, uh, how do I get the training? How do I be part of the training? No problem. You can be part of the training. Maryland is at Sheraton Hotel. Uh, 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 um, that's at um, uh, Georgia Avenue in Silver Spring in Maryland and this Saturday 15 a.m. to 4 p.m. it is strictly by registration you don't just come there without registering the event is $250 uh, to be part of it but those who chat me up today you will get $100 discount because of this platform hallelujah I thought you are happy if you are happy about that shout glory to God come on clap clap okay so you'll be able to get $100 discount also for the London and for the um, Dubai event. So if you're in Dubai, you're in London, you want to be part of the training, you will learn um, 20 ways to make money legally online. Okay? And how? And I will show you transaction, how God has also helped me in these uh, businesses. You will learn them. Okay? And it's practical. It's very real from 10 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. So to know more, you can visit www.stevenakintyre.com forward slash store. You'll be able to read a lot more about that. Okay? Sivrakital.com forward slash store. Um, Sivrakital.com forward slash store. You'll be able to read a lot more about the event. Also, you can chat me up on WhatsApp. That's the best way to reach me. When you are chatting me on WhatsApp, I have a couple of rules. Okay? Just state your name, your city, and your question, and I will answer you. Okay, your name, your city, and your question. That's all you need to do. Your name, your city, and your question. Remember, you can visit stevenakitayal.com forward slash tour to read about all the events that I have and how you can be part of it. Okay? Um, but you can chat me up. For those first 10 people who chat me up for the Maryland event, will get $100 discount. Also, first people who chat me up for the... For the um, um, you, London event will also get $100 discount and first 10 people who chat me up for the Dubai event will also get $100 discount. Okay? So the WhatsApp number you can connect me on. Um, uh, the WhatsApp number is plus 234-818-8111-999. Okay? Yes, uh, she uh, she has typed it. I hope some of you have seen it. You can see she hope well. She has typed it for you guys so that it's easy for you. So um, the first uh, ten people who can connect with me will get all this discount. She's typed the website to go and read about it. You can ch uh, chat me up on WhatsApp and you will get the discount. Also, for those of you in US, can just uh, send me a text on my US line, which is two two four zero. Uh, 413-6801-240-413-6801. Okay, 240-413-6801. You can also send me a mail at me at Stephen Akintaro, M-E at Stephen Akintaro. You want me to be a blessing to your ministry, to your organization, to your institution, you can chat me up, M-E at stephenakintaro.com. You can also visit my website, stephenakintaro.com. I have a, a Facebook fan page. We do a lot of meetings. We have one 5 p.m. Um, Houston time. 
and um, 11 p.m. Uh, London and Nigeria time. Um, it's gonna it's a seven day uh, meeting for businessmen and women. I know uh, Prophet Damipo has been sharing it, and I'm sure we still share it. So many of you still get to to watch it, but. Um, you can join me on my fan page, Stephen Akitayo TV. Like the fan page, and once we start broadcast, you'll be able to see it. Stephen Akitayo TV. And on, on um, YouTube, Facebook, Stephen Akitayo, Stephen Akitayo. Connect with me. Uh, I am uh, um, an apostle in the marketplace. One of the things God has called me to do is to raise one million entrepreneurs. What did I call it? One million entrepreneurs who will be kingdom entrepreneurs. Who will be able to impact the world? Use the money God has given them to impact ministries. You know, you know, expand the kingdom of God, expand the work of God. One million entrepreneurs is the assignment God has given to me because God has blessed me and He said I should go ahead and impact lives. Okay, so we charge a token to sustain these things. Um, because I always tell people, why do we charge? We charge to sustain it. To travel to US, to London, to UK, it costs a lot of money. Hotel accommodation and things like that it costs a lot. Venue, uh, the video materials, it costs a lot. So we just charge a token to take care of the bills we need to pay to host the event because that way we can sustain it. There are a lot of great visions that are not sustained. I want to beg you, if you see any man do great things and you want to do like him, find a way to sow into his ministry. Okay, please, many of you should connect with uh, Prophet Dami Paul and look for a way to be a part of this ministry. If a man is doing great things and you trust God to also do great things in your life, don't always ask for free, 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 free. Find a way to connect to them and also find a way to be a part so that you can connect. Somebody is asking for the venue for London. I have given you the website, sivakita.com forward slash store. The venue detail is there. I can't be repeating all of these things. Sivakita.com forward slash store. You see it. Or chat me up on WhatsApp or call me or, or, um, um, or, or send me a text on my phone. I've given you all the numbers, okay? The U.S. number 240-413-6801. The WhatsApp number is plus 234-818-811-1999, okay? So, uh, 234-818-811-1999, okay? So, that's the WhatsApp number. So, I've given you all the details. Lastly, before I go, some people have been asking what if I'm not in the city you are coming to? How can I still be blessed by you? Good news, I have a coaching program and I have video of all 20 businesses you can do. Because of time, that's why we couldn't go into details of all these 20 businesses. And this is a spiritual platform. So I wanted to teach you more from the principal perspective that establish your wealth in Christ. Okay? Um, Evelyn says, Prophet Dami Paul, God bless you richly. Yes, God bless him, Abi. For, uh, for bringing me. I'll be, I'm so glad that you guys have been blessed. So we have this um, coaching we do in 20 businesses you can do from mini importation, e-commerce business, uh, affiliate marketing. These are businesses that have, have protege all over who have made millions, who are millionaires today because they were trained by these videos. So if you are not in any of the cities I am in, you are not in Nigeria, uh, you are not in um, in Maryland, you are not in London, you are not in Dubai, no problem. You can get the video and it's as equally effective. So to get the video training on 20 profitable businesses you can do, you can visit www.stephenakitayo.com forward slash 20 IBM. stephenakitayo.com forward slash 20 IBM. Okay, stephenakitayo.com forward slash 20 IBM. You'll be able to get the video. The video goes for $400. It's 20 video. It's a 50-hour video because each business is over uh, 20 hours of training. Okay? Um, over 20 hours of training. Yes. Um, each video is tw two, two hours of training in that business. The website to go, how to start that business, everything in detail. That's what we teach you in that video. So it's $400 to get it. But those who are getting it today, okay, you can chat me. The first 10 people to chat me on WhatsApp will also get $100 discount on those videos. Okay, you get $100 discount on the video. Then those who want to have coaching program with me, I'm a very busy man, but I have few people that I'm able to coach. Okay, where they can join my secret group, they can get my one of my staff to put them through. 
If you want to join my coaching program, feel free. StephenAkita.com forward CEO mentorship. That program. Get five for a gift. Okay. Glory to God. Are you blessed at all? I am blessed. I'm blessed. I, I, the anointing here is very heavy. I'm excited about how, uh, what God is doing through this ministry. And you'll be glad to know that uh, there's so much coming up. Very so much. Okay, the person asking again for the coaching, stevenakitao.com forward slash CEO mentorship. Okay, stevenakitao.com forward slash CEO mentorship. That's where to go if you want me to coach you. Like that is, you are not interested in 20 businesses. You have your own business, but you just need to learn how to sustain your business, how to grow your business strategies and idea. Then you need to go to stevenakitao.com forward slash CEO mentorship. Okay, stevenakitao.com forward slash CEO mentorship. But if you want, you don't know which business to do. Profitable business, legal businesses to do. You don't know. Then you need to go to stevenakitao.com forward slash 20 IBM. But if you don't even understand all these things, chat me up on WhatsApp. I can give you the link. Um, uh, but the first um, 10 people will get $100 discount on the training in Maryland, in London, in Dubai. They can also get $100 discount on the coaching program. Okay? Uh, um, are you blessed at all? I will take a few questions and we shut down for the day. I'm um, told we normally shut down by 4 p.m., so we have less than 12 minutes left. So I'll take a few questions uh, before we shut down for the day. Are you blessed at all? Come on, type, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. If you are blessed, type, I'm blessed. Everybody keeps saying, God bless, Prophet Dami Paul. Uh, you know, you have a large heart. Wow, come on. Oh, man of God, everybody is thanking you, you know. You know, say thank you, thank you. You have a large heart. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Yeah, he's a man with a large heart, honestly. Because when spirituality eh, meets, you know, the spiritual work, you know, in terms of you, you do the spiritual aspect and then you really meet the secrets and businesses to do, your business will blow. It will blow. That's the word. It will blow. One of the things God has used to help me in life is that I'm able to meet spirituality with, you know, my business. Uh, you know, we move to a new office, I anoint the whole place. I do blood or sprinkling. Anyone that fly there, no fly zone. You see, one of the policy I have, spiritual policy, you touch me by mistake, you die by correction. You know, I have that is a policy for me. You touch me by mistake, you die by correction. So I'm a dangerous businessman because I combine spirituality plus physical and mental work. And I tell people, you need it. You need it. You need the two. You must be using something. Use anointing oil. Use blood of sprinkling. Use communion. You, you know. taught me by mistake. You... Hallelujah. So you must learn to blend the two together. Blend the two together. And it goes a long way in helping you in growing your business. You are spiritually sound. You also have businesses you are doing. You are mentally sound. You go for training. You this many Christians are spiritually relevant, they are earthly useless. You, you know, that's not Christianity. You are to subdue the earth and dominate it. And when you get to heaven again, a crown is waiting for you. If you are poor in this earth, when you go to heaven, you, you will carry on more. You will be a mother. So it's important that you are blessed on earth. You go to heaven, you are also blessed. Remember the story of Lazarus and Abraham. The Bible says Lazarus was under the bosom of Abraham. Abraham had the mansion. He hosted people. Lazarus, he was poor on earth. When he got to heaven again, he was a boy boy in, in Abraham's palace. You will not be poor again. I cause poverty in your lineage. Everyone that says poverty will continue to follow you. I decree and declare, in their lifetime, they will see you prosper. They will see you expand. They will see you do great things. They will see you build your houses. They will see your businesses expand globally in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to take a few questions again. I just have 10 minutes more. Question. Do you have any question before I shut down? Questions. You are blessed. You are blessed. Everybody is just thanking um, Pastor Dami Paul. He said many thanks to the CEO of Kataye, your Jew, Prophet Dami Paul Boza. <laughs> great, great. Glory to God. Yes, glory. Thank God for Pastor Dami Paul. Um, I show you up well. Yes. Yes, so we should not. Uh, I show you up well. Do you need to celebrate? Show you up well, too. 
uh, Mayo Kun says, uh, my prophet Dami Paul, you are, you are blessed, sir, for bringing Pastor Stephen for this wonderful information. Oh, yes, he is blessed. He is a blessed man of God. He is blessed. He is blessed. He is blessed. He is blessed. Um, Tokumbo Yusu says, God bless you, my prophet. Prophet Dami Paul, and God bless you too, Pastor Stephen Akintayo. God bless you too. God bless you too. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You are blessed. You are blessed. Do we have more questions? If you have any question, you're free to type, uh, and I will uh, take your question before I round up. You know, you are welcome. You are welcome. Everybody is just saying, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Show some love. Press the sign button. Um, you know, and remember, you need to keep sharing this video so that many people and rewatch it. You need to watch it again and again. Remember, uh, Prophet Dami Paul told all of you that you should not miss a single session of this. Okay? Because you can miss the whole meeting. Go back and read again and again. Um, somebody has a question here, Tolu Lopez Gold. He says, I need an example of mid-risk investment. An example of mid-risk investment is treasury bill. Okay, treasury bill uh, is an example of mid with uh, um, CBN in Nigeria, and I think different countries also have treasury bill. That's an example of mid -risk. The interest is not much, but it's a, mid, uh, it's a low risk investment. Sorry, a low risk investment. A mid risk investment, we have some. You can chat me up privately. I can tell you some that I, I can recommend to you. But there are several. Um, real estate in the US is a form of mid risk investment because, in most cases, uh, if you are into there, are five ways you can go into real estate. You can buy a, uh, a house, you can buy a house for rent. Okay, if you are into the buying a house and renting it out in the U.S., it's a mid-risk investment where you can make at least two-digit interest, even in the U.S. In Africa, there are several things. Like I said, many of you should connect with me on my fan page, um, uh, Sivakita TV. You'll be able to see a lot of videos I've done in this regard. I've done several videos. I have more than 200 videos on that place. So just go like it. Then click on videos and watch. you see videos where I've been able to because I don't want to um, distract us too much. This is a platform more for prayers, for spirituality. I've done enough to at least open you up to where to look and what to look and how to begin to position yourself uh, in business. But I don't want to turn it to a business page or a business platform. But you can connect with me at Real Steven, at Steven Akitao TV. Okay, they've pin it, uh, Sheya has pinned it on that. Uh, Steven Akitao TV, you will be able to see videos I've done in time past, and they will go a long, long way in helping you in terms of low risk investment, mid risk investment, and high risk investment. But remember, divide your investment money into three one into high risk, 25% maximum. Okay, and when you make profit from it, put it in the low and the mid risk. We learned a lot in that regard. So that you don't put everything in, in high risk investment and you're wondering why you lost. Somebody says, Pastor Stephen, how do one hold or compose his psychological balance in business? Well, you need training. You need uh, emotional intelligence training. Okay? Because one of the reasons, and thank you for this question, it's a very good question. One of the reasons why many people fail in business is that they don't have emotional intelligence. Boom, boom, you new that. You know, Igile, one yonno, Igito, one yonno, and that culture will never have you to have sustainability. Everybody is not good. Everybody is bad except you. You see, everybody don't know what they are doing except you. You fight this one, you fight that one. You can't be a businessman if you are not emotionally intelligent. You must understand what we call, you know, uh, conflict resolution, conflict management. There are ways as a businessman, you may not even like somebody, you may have issues, with, and yet you don't begin to... Some people, the way they even talk, oh, yeah, oh, that. You are, and you call yourself a businessman, and everybody, you fight them, use vulgar words, use funny languages, and you say you're a businessman. They don't talk that way. There are some, you know, vulgar words that businessmen don't make, even when they are fighting. They will analyze, I didn't like what you did, you disappointed me, you did this. They, there are businessmen who even carry themselves to court. And they will still, you know, talk with themselves. They will still communicate properly. Okay, so there's so much. You need emotional intelligence. There's a book on that. And there are trainees on that. Okay? I have more questions. Um, my Okun says, thank you. Okay, it's from here, sir. Okay. Uh, my Okun says, 
Thank you to beautiful Sheyi for bringing Pastor God bless you. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let me see. I, I'm so sorry if I'm not uh, picking your question. I have several questions here. So I'm just, there are so many coming at the same time. Um, let me see. Let me see. If you have questions, you can type. Olada Paul Philip says, what will you say about uh, equity and capital markets in Nigeria today, especially sharp practice that kill. Well, in terms of capital market, Nigerian capital market at the moment is not strong. So I would not advise you to invest in the Nigerian capital market at the moment. But we have uh, equity investment, which is going on very well, particularly in the tech sector. In, the, in, the la in last year alone, there was over uh, uh, $50 billion yes, invested in Africa. In this by VCs, venture capitalists, in you know, in getting equities in businesses and investing with small businesses, and you can do that. You can invest with small businesses. Somebody is running an IT company. The tech sector is doing very well. E-commerce is doing very well. So you have somebody doing a profitable business in Africa. You can uh, meet them and say, "I want to own some equity in your business. I, I will drop some." I meet people who tell me, "I want to invest one billion um, to have equity in your business," and I just tell them, "At the moment, we are not ready for that. We have investment program where we give people twenty percent uh, returns annually. Our company has that. You can charge me up for that. I will give you all the details. But we don't do equity yet as a company. But equity investment is good in Nigeria. Real estate is one of the biggest." biggest biggest and the most interesting market right now in nigeria is a hot cake is doing very well uh you just need to have good partners you need to have credible people you're dealing with people with integrity uh if you do it with people with integrity you go far in real estate is a very good option for you um very very good and there are so many beautiful stories in real estate one of the mistakes people make they want to do real estate they are dealing with omonile and some of these omonile don't have integrity they don't have credibility where well, they don't honor agreements so it's better to deal real estate with the real estate owners i met somebody in san antonio the other time my last year i was training on real estate and they said they, they invest over 400 million you know they are based in, in, in u.s and they bought from omonile and they lost everything and later after they went to court, they got some half of it back, but they didn't get the land. And I remember saying to them, I said, you should have looked for an estate owner and partner with the person. I said, you already have a big estate. Can I buy, you know, like 50 acres in, um, in your own estate? Because if you partner that way, before you do a monile can cheat you, they will first need to cheat your partner. I remember the person already has an existing estate. So you are just... Pick, take, taking more land. So, I, in fact, when I opened him up, he said, wow, I wish I, I had met you before. I wish I knew this because they lost a lot of money, you know, trying to do it directly themselves. And they were not based in Nigeria. And they got one lawyer in Nigeria at the end of the day. Forget it. Like I said, if you don't know the trade, like I, that's why I talked about mentorship earlier. If you don't know the trade of a business, you will lose your money. You will lose big time. When you don't know you know, um, when you don't have exposure, you don't have experience, you don't have a mentor, you may, you may lose some money. But why not get a good mentor? The mentor may charge you. I prefer every deal. Like I told you, every business I do that work at businesses where I have mentor. One of the reasons why we have done well in real estate is that we have a mentor. On every plot people buy from me, he gets a cut. But he pays me that we did it right. We didn't lose our money. We, things are going very well. Then to say, oh, I'm greedy. Why should I give him a cut? Why should I do this? That's why people lose. You are, don't be greedy in business. You must understand that business is about everybody coming together, everybody benefiting, mutual benef uh, beneficial relationship will make business work. Like in our estates now, we give people as much as 20%. We're one of the few companies that give people 50 20% commission for referring somebody to our estate. If you, somebody buy a land, if you refer somebody to buy a land with us worth 5 million, you get 1 million commission. I mean, it's, it, you should structure your business in a way that there's so much for everybody to benefit. You, you are a blessing. You remember the story God told Abraham? He said, I will not just bless you, I will make you a blessing. A channel of blessing. You'll be reaching out to people and be a blessing. I trust God that in my lifetime, I will employ millions. You know, God will use me to provide food to millions of people all over the world. That's my prayer. And that's how you should see business. Don't be greedy. 
Okay? Don't be greedy. Trust God to be a blessing, a channel of blessing to other people. So when you're going to business, have partners. Have people with credibility. Have people that there's something mutually beneficial. Both of you are uh, helping yourselves. You are earning his earning. Don't be greedy. Because we try to be greedy and we think we are smart. That's when we end up losing. And he said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Okay? So, I hope you are learning business secret now. Let me tell you this. Anybody that comes to me that he wants to do business with me and does not tell me what's in need for him, I run away from such people. No matter how juicy the offer they are giving me. Oh, we want to help you, Mr. C. We want to do this. When they don't tell me what's in need for them, what do you want? In fact, it makes me to respect you. Ah, I want to work with you and do this. So after I've done this, so this is what I need you to give me for doing this. I respect people like that because that way I know they will be able to also protect my interest because there's something in need for them. But people come. That's how the devil comes down. You know, you should go everything. Don't do anything. I'm just going to help you. I'm just going to do call it favor. Many things that you call favor are trap of the enemy in disguise. If it's the devil himself, he sugarcoated it and you call it favor. So in business, it's about mutual beneficial relationship. Um, it says, somebody said they are brutal. Okay, she's talking about experiences buying land, um, you know, with Omonile. Very true. So get credible companies and do business with them. I will be fine. And trust me, they are credible ones. Remember I told you, I said, this is uh, a Samsung uh, curve. Before they can be a fake of this Samsung, they must be an original. So that they are fake, you know, real estate company is because they are original real estate companies too. Okay? So... Sorry, I don't know. It's just echoing back, but as well. Hmm? Yeah, don't worry. We're rebranding this. Uh, there's a lot coming up. We're going to be having a website called uh, damipaul.com where you guys are going to be able to watch most of these videos on that. We're also um, going to be having an opportunity. How many of you are excited? You, our company is working with Pastor Dami Paul. You will be getting email prophetic prayers every day from Pastor Dami Paul. Every day. How many of you are excited from that, about that? Come on, type, I'm excited. That's why we need volunteers to work with us on this. You'll be getting prophetic prayer in your mail every day. You'll also be getting prophetic text messages. You know, there are some prayers that you receive in the morning that makes your day great, glorious. Your day is just blessed by those prophetic declarations that are coming in. So, you will be getting that also we are also working on the YouTube platform. We're also working on packaging some of the videos where some of you can get like 100 videos of uh, 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 um, Prophet Dami Paul. You can get, he, he's a musician and he sings gospel songs too. Uh, we're, we're working on putting on iTunes. So there's so much coming up. Watch out for, you know, part two, eh? <coughs> Prophet Dami Paul. Uh, he's going to be also in the next few weeks. Uh, the branding, the logo, is, I mean, you're going to see amazing stuff come on board. So, uh, we've just partnered together and we're working on something massive. Okay, that's why he brought me here to also give you a taste of some of the things that, uh, you know, the business ideas and concepts and strategies that we are working on so that you guys too are upgraded. You see, many people upgrade their phone, but they don't upgrade their brain. Yeah? That's why people fail. They spend money on better phones, bigger phones, but they don't spend money on training. They don't spend money on partnership. They don't spend... Yes, you'll be able to get Pastor Dami CDs, DVDs, and we will be able to ship it to you anywhere in the world. These are some of the things we are working on. I mean, it's going to be massive. Oh. Watch out very soon. Okay? Um, chat me up. Somebody is talking about apartments in Lagos and paying uh, installment. Chat me up. We have that coming up. Let me also say this in closing about real estate. For those of you who keep asking questions on real estate. Let's work on our expectations. Okay? Expectation, when it comes to business and land in Africa, is one of the problems we are having. So we have people who don't have enough money. I know it's tough. You know, in Africa, in America, sometimes getting dollars is very hard. But I've met people who paid... Um, two million for a land and they expected the land to be in Lagos and they expected the place to be a city where people are already living 
Again, you are either a scammer or you are looking for who will scam you. Because that is not realistic. The value of land in where people are already living in Lagos is already fixed. Okay, in Oba, you are a land that are already going for as much as 20 million, just land alone, 25 million, 50 million. And in Ikeja, 50 million, 100 million. In Lekki Phase 1, 150 million. Okay, so having all these expectations where you want a particular cheap price, when they are saying land investment, it is a bush that you are buying. But that bush will soon become city. Look at uh, VI in the 70s, when VI started. Land was as cheap as 2 million and less. Today now, you know how much land is in the VI. 300 million, 250 million. In the same way Ikoyi started in the 80s. Land then, they will beg people in the 80s, come, 2 million, 5 million, buy. Today now, 250 million. Like if it's one, when they start, they say, oh, million, my million, my million, my million, my I mean, you don't need to buy land for purpose of living there. You can buy the land, sell it later. I know somebody who was smart. He was a civil servant. He bought an acre. By the time he retired, by, he sold the three plot for 50 million each and used the money to build his own. You see? So sometimes our expectation too, we say they scammed us, but our expectation is not realistic. You need to go and buy. The place you call Bush today will soon become city. Look at Upper B. Uh, Upper B used to be Ritual Killer's Den. The old, that old place where you call Ikeja today was Ritual Killer's Den in, in the 1870s. Because it was all bush. It was only the airport that was situated there. They used to add, tell the governor then that we will, we will, you know, we will live here when he started, you know, some estates then. But today, Upper B is one of the choicest places to live in Ikeja. So, and guess where was the right city when Upper B was ritual killers then? Mushin. Eh? Mushin Yaba. Uh, Isaleko. That was the city of Lagos. Can you go to Mushi and Yaba now? The, the, those old, the old houses. Where do you see new houses now? Ikeja, you know, GRA. Are you seeing now? So, the same way, right now, Lekki Phase 1 is developing, is expanding. You want to tie something down. Don't expect that the place is, there's road, there's light, there's water, like you have it in America here. No, it's an investment. That's why they call it investment. Delay gratification. You keep the place. In the next five years, in the next ten years, it will have turned to something big. That's how to do business. Let me round up with this story of a woman I remember who was smart. This woman had learned about real estate investment very well. So she bought, she had house in Keja Jiare, she has land in uh, Agege, uh, you know, and all these places. She has property everywhere. But many years ago, they told her about um, a place she could invest in, which was... Um, 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 somewhere after, um, like, um, what's it called? Ikoi. But the whole place was water. You know, but she just said, let's, let her just buy, you know, one or two plots there. She just got, I think, about three plots. She just got it. She wasn't sure it would amount to anything, but she was just used to buying land and tying it down. Guess what happened? Few years later, about ten years, five years later, some people came to her and said they want to buy that land. She kept that in that place for 100 million. And how much did she buy it? Less than 2 million. They said they wanted to buy And she said, no, she's not selling. One year later, they came with 200 million. One year later again, they came with 500 million. By that time, she now did research, where was this place? That's called Banana Island. But by the time this woman bought that place, it was not Banana Island. It was just one waterlogged area. There was just water everywhere. She never even thought the thing would amount to anything. Guess what happened? When she, they brought 500 million, she said, ah, there must be something here. So she went there, sold her house in uh, GRA, sold her house in Agege, went to Ogba and rent a two-bedroom flat as a tenant. All the houses she sold, she used the money to start developing uh, a house, a land in Ibeju. Like she built four-bedroom terrace duplex. She never, I mean, most people who she now move in as tenant, you remember what we were talking about, don't try to impress anybody. Eh? You, there's nobody worth impressing. She became a tenant. She built four terrace bedrooms, four in the Bejuleki. Nobody knew. By the time she finished, she invited everybody plus tenant to come and wash the place. She picked one of those terraces for her own. From her own terrace, you know, four bedroom terrace, she was seen at Denuga's compound 
Michael Adenuga. Apparently, she has now become a neighbor like to a Michael Adenuga. Like and this is not like a super rich like woman. Times. Like, she was just like smart. as many times. Just position. Like like understand like like investment, video, understand financial she. investment. And today, she now rented the remaining three, four bedroom terrace duplex out. You know, to people. And guess what? Each of them is going for over 15 million rent per annum. That's how to think. That's how to be a businesswoman. That's how to be a businessman. Not you buy chains here, yeah, you buy gold here, yeah, you buy wristwatches here, yeah, you buy clothes and ashwabi and all of that. Come on, wake up. The, the, you see, God is raising an end time billionaires, end time millionaires, but there are people with wisdom. Remember, Solomon was very rich. He wasn't rich for anything. He was rich because he had wisdom. He understood what he needed to do, when to do, and how to do. Wisdom is knowing what to do, when to do, and how to do. Wisdom is knowing where to go, when to go, and how to go. I impact on you. Everybody stretch your hand as we close. I impact on you today. The wisdom of Solomon. The wisdom that creates wealth. The wisdom that turned a man from zero to hero, I release it upon your life today. In the name of Jesus Christ, that that thing in your hand, it may be small today. It will grow. It will expand. It will multiply. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed. Your ministry is moving to the next level. Your business is moving to the next level. Listen to me. God is raising financial giants and you'll be one of them. In this end time, God is raising end time financial giants who will be able to defend the church against all manner of satanic attack, homosexuality. People will be able to use their money to, 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 to block all manner of devil's works. God will raise you as one of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed. Thank you so much once again. Remember, you can chat me up on WhatsApp. You can follow me on Facebook, Sibirakital TV. On WhatsApp, you can chat me up and on my um, US line, you can send me a text. Once again, they will put the link here for you guys to see my WhatsApp number, my Facebook, um, Steve Akitao TV. Also, they will put here for you my um, uh, US phone line, okay? So, you have all those information. God bless you. Once again, I want to appreciate uh, Prophet Dami Paul for the opportunity and the privilege to be a blessing to all of you here. I hope that these few times with me will change your financial story. I look forward to your testimony. I love, you know, getting testimonies a lot. I love seeing what God is doing in the life of people. I look forward to receiving your testimony. I trust God that we will fly on the top together. Remember, at the top, there, there is no traffic. Okay? There is only traffic on the road. Only those who walk, eh? those who drive, that, that, that have traffic. In the air, those who fly, they fly alone. You will join the club of those who are flying in financial prosperity. You will swim in financial prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you again. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. See you in Maryland. See you in London. See you in Dubai. God bless you. Stephen Akita is my name. You are blessed. Amen. <laughs> that is so wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Amen. If you know you are blessed, please I want you to begin to like the begin to like that video right now. Like it, begin to like if you really know that this man of God has blessed your life and you know something you are things is changing for good. Begin to like the video, begin to like it. Oh yeah, my like a video, I'm share a video, I'm like it. I'm about to pray for you. And um, I want us to pray for the man of God. You know, he has put, he has put something into you. He has so something into your life. And um, the, the ones that are wise, I know you are going to use it very well. You are going to make use of it very, very well. The ones that are wise. I want to back You see, my, my duty as your prophet is to, to bring you things that will change your life words that will change your life physical things that will change your life for good so that is my that is my that is my job it is not just to pray for you alone but to bring a lot of things you know Katan Yonjo is changing for good and we have a lot of stuff like he has said and we have a lot of things to do to offer to offer people you know so start preparing we are moving to the next level we are not just here to be shouting but we are here to make impact you know, one thing about, you know, you understand, one thing about my ministry is that to make 
impact, you know. It is not to pray for you alone. It is not to start, you know, we need impact, we need results. So, and these are the things that can bring results. You get what I'm saying? So, it is not, Uluwa, Shenekan, mm, it's not that alone. There should be a result. And so, if you want to make a result, how is, how is it going to be? By some practical things. And these are the practical aspect of it. Prophet Samuju, <laughs> Babani, yeah? it is well with the man of God. Thank you for staying. You know, I like I like that. Thomas today Nigeria, we want him to connect with you, Prophet Sam. So Boshe wa neliki na lo wa nebanja. Anything I'm doing, you must also do <laughs> because we are twins, spiritual twins. <laughs> so I, I I will talk about it, then I will connect you with him so that when it comes to Nigeria, then you begin to sort things, one or two things out, so that it can empower you know things that it needs to empower. So the spiritual aspect it, it's our duty, and once we see the physical one that can you can benefit from, we link it up immediately. So our fako da funyene. You know, I told you, this ministry is not about receiving from you. It's not about, no, no, it's about giving you, showing you ways. So it shall be well with you. Because of our time, so that I can attend to them, I will quickly bless you right now and I will share the grace. And by the grace of God, we'll continue our program tomorrow. Then every other information that we have to pass across, because a lot of things is changing, a lot of things, which I will explain better to us. A lot of things is changing. Opolopo, it can. For example, you only help my life. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of things is changing a lot of things is changing by the grace of God uh, we are going to be we, we are going to be running TVs we are going to be running you know things that will bring a change we need to be training disciples things like that so but we, I will come back to us to explain to us very very well tell us what you're talking about do a phone to bati like video oh yeah like here by to bati like like here could share video here a lot of apostles are doing a lot of people who are doing a lot of people who are doing a lot of it shall be well with you. Your glory will continue to shine. You will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever thing that you lay your hands upon shall be successful in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that pertains to you shall be a success in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never fail. Things will work for you. The anointing of God upon my life will help, will, will locate you and bless you. Yeah, mommy to come by you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's because of my moving and packing things. I pray for you. The anointing of God will bless you. The anointing of God will locate you and it will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are going to change level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go and make success. Go and prosper. Go and make success. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. So shall it be. And it is so in the name of Jesus Christ. For the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Please, I want to beg everybody. Immediately, I will release a poster now. And that is a poster for Maryland program. I want everybody to use it as their profile picture. Tomorrow, I will pray for you. Immediately, I see that poster as your profile picture. I will pray for you. You are going to use it for just three days. Put, on, put the poster or as your DP, use it as your profile picture on Facebook, use it on WhatsApp. Then the moment I begin to see your comment and I see the profile picture, I will pray for you specially on that because that is not by partiality that did not pray for me. That one no concern me. I will pray for I will pray for those people that will use the poster. I will release the poster now. Immediately imagine Shetan, you will see the poster. Come back for the poster, you will see it. I will release it on my profile. On my on, on my on my profile, then immediately please use the picture as your so that you create awareness for people in Maryland. I want everybody to use it. I am begging us just use it for two to three days. Then after that you can change it again. So that is a part. That is a that is a that is a, that is it shows that you are you are part of this ministry and you are supporting us always. It shall be well with you. Oh yeah, hallelujah. Seven mighty hallelujah. One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. It is well with you. So I want you to type it there. Mufako Kosim and Kosawipe, Mutishi Ori Rintimin. Type it there and say, Mutishi Ori Rintimin. Yes, oh yeah, type it there, type it there, type it there, type it there. You, the, the poster is already on my profile now. You can all see it there. 
So I have put it there. Just check it out now. It's there right now. So when Taba Fellow post I see it is there. Right now, begin to see. You will see it. And you will see I'm changing levels. That's where you will see Prof. Pastor Shola Jordan, Evangelist Oya Ola Yemi Bameshe, Oman Kwoni Dinobu, and Mommy She Yopuel and Prophet Ezeniola Treasure. So you are going to meet all these ministers of God here. Get yourself prepared. The lion is coming to roar. <laughs> me and Lion was talking yesterday. Me and Pastor Shola Jordan. We are talking yesterday. We talk almost one hour. Almost one hour. He said, I'm coming. He said, Do you need Pastor Jordan or you need the lion? I said, I need the lion to come and roar. <laughs> so me come here. You are, you see, you are meeting great ministers of God. You will sit down one on one, counseling with us. We'll counsel you, we'll pray for you. Whatsoever the case may be, God will put an end to it. So like the poster and share it and use it as your word, as your DP. That's in display picture or profile picture. It shall be well with you. God of our Babala will be with you. Professor Samuel, your authority, thank you for staying with us till this time. I really appreciate you, sir. You are my Gabadawata, my senior boss. Thank you, sir. It is well with you. So, don't forget. Don't forget that tomorrow again, we'll be on this live video.